I'm glad that you were uh, you guys were able to come into play again. Obvious that you know Brittany Ghost and Athena Sage are not able to be here today. Um, I will explain what their characters are up to so that it makes sense. But without any other you know anything additional, last time in the gardens of Radon, um, you guys sort of took stock. Uh, of everything that you may need for, you know, the, the the Lawless Lands campaign to be able to get all of the side quests done that you need to do for a long B. You know, going to Silent Bell for building materials, Green's Rest for food, the trading routes that connect all of them together. But before you actually start with that main campaign, you wanted to be able to take a take a quick look into uh lago where the battalion of grove that ambushed you guys a few hours ago in long b came from sort of what everything there is looking like after getting all of your necessary materials that you needed for the campaign and have now purchased your very own permanent set of of horses and carriages you guys yeah long it lasts you guys make your way across and around the um, the the Goliath Lands Peninsula of the Wild Wood, away from Long B. You're able to see the columns and plumes of smoke that used to be, or what remains of Lago. You are still a few miles away from it, and that is kind of where we start today give me one quick second seconds up can you give me like a few quick seconds count down please you like actually like un zwei <laughs> drei vier fünf beep sechs sieben Sex, sieben acht, acht neun, neun sechs, sechs, yeah Gesundheit. See, see, Gesundheit. Anna gets it. Anna gets it. Are we counting in German? <laughs> yes. Listen, sometimes I have happy birthday in German stuck in my head. Makes sense. Habs Geburtstag, vier Glück. It just sounds like a bunch of like a lot of guttural sounds. It sounds like yeah. similar. <laughs> so so like, similar. <laughs> so my target name tag. Do I need to like? <laughs> and on the bottom it says that um, uh, ich spreche Deutsch. And like, nobody told me that it came in ages ago, and I'm so mad because I, I could have flexed that I speak another language. But anyways, yeah, I love German. Anyways, I'll shut up. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. You're good. <laughs> at the uh, at the crossroads where that picket sign was, there there are you know multiple pickets on it. Um, Sonaris and Ghost are the current ones who are uh, outside, you know, managing the trajectory of the carriage. And you two are able to see the actual picket signs themselves. One pointing towards the direction of your travels, Lago. And a few other ones that point to various different locations around the Lawless Lands. Longby, Magos, Silent Bell, Corota Zone and generally the southern kingdoms. At this moment, uh, you can see Ghost almost patting on the, uh, on the side carriage. Ghost exclaiming, um, since they're sort of in a good position to where they can go forward unseen for the perimeter, they wish to elect to do on a little scouting run before the, the the main party goes a little forward since you know they have range on their side they feel like sage and ghost would be good opportunities to do a little bit of reconnaissance so as the two gun gals make their way out of the carriage and both sort of make room underneath their uh, uh ghost's cloak cape they continue along unseen throughout the perimeter towards the town you are all destined to come to so as of right now the remaining party who are still you know in the carriage 
on their way to Lago. Sonaris up front, followed by within the carriage, the Gao, Tybalt, Day, and Glanton. So the five of you sort of have, I'd say roughly around another hour to go until making to the actual town itself of Lago precedent. So you still have roughly around an hour to go in order to make it there. The hour is yours. It's roughly around... It's roughly around... Three-ish? Three-ish, four-ish in the afternoon? Um, the heat of the afternoon is a little bit surprising considering that you are now in fall. Makes sense considering that you are venturing deeper into the lawless lands that's predominantly more arid than in the area that you just were in next to the great beyond ocean. I, I would like to look at... Glanton. You, uh, you, 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 you see Glanton's thick, metallic exterior. Yes. His big dump trunk of a dookie. Oh, um, oh my god! It, it is... It is... Gl- Glanton's, Glanton's physique um, almost barely fits on the seat where the carriage is. Okay. Um, I kind of see him like sitting, I guess, on uncook- like squished, but he's just like kind of comp- keeping to himself because he's kind of a smaller. I'm like, you, uh, you look quite uncomfortable, Glanton. Are you acclimating to the carriage ride? Okay. Uh, Glanton uh, takes a little. Look at uh, at where he's si- at where he's sitting. He's like, uh, he says, uh, "I may be a bit on the uncomfortable side, but I assure you, I am not." Oh shoot! What's the word? Damn! I had. I you're had you're not. Uh... You're not making a fuss uh, about it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is the word. Understood. Uh, I am not one to complain. It's nice to hear. A lot of my students tend to do that, even just sitting at their desks. So, I, I kind of appreciate the quiet for a moment, especially after our excursion, our battle in Long B. I, uh, I want to peek my head out towards Sonoris. Uh, and I'm just kind of, like, fiddling with books. I'm, like, very... I don't... I like sitting still, but at the same time, I'm, like, trying to find something to do. I'm just, like... You're... Hmm. A- a- after almost two or three hours of travel at this point, you're very fidgety. You're antsy, dude. Um, the, the carriage itself has a little bit of a hole in the tarp. Um... So you oh, can this is like a covered carriage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a covered wagon. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can you can see through the hole. Um, Roll down the Sonaris. arc trail. Roll down the back windows. Nobody um, get dysentery. Sonaris, uh, how how far are we away from our location? How far away are we? Well, it it if it takes about an hour, then if, if a crow flies at this velocity. <laughs> If I do, yeah. if I do the math we'll, correctly, uh, uh, we'll we'll reach the edge of the city and in the town, uh, probably within the next hour or so. Ah, uh, um, gotcha. have I? So, have I seen anything weird or suspicious? Uh, anything moving? Right around now, go ahead and uh, make any a o- any other any other any other living creatures. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. Are we, like, sitting tight and waiting for the gun gals to come back, or are we still rolling along? You are venturing ahead. Okay. Did they tell us they were going there? Like, just for context, they told us they were yeah. leaving? Yeah, they, okay. they, they, they said that they were going, 
everybody agreed um, they'll meet back up uh, once their recon is over um, at an appropriate time. So yeah. How long ago have they left? I'd say at this because, point. I'd say at this because point, if we're well, an hour, yeah, if we're an hour away and they're walking, like it's. I, uh, I I'd say at this point they probably left. You know. 10-ish minutes ago, but they want to go the the long way around, around the perimeter, whereas you guys are going straight through the middle. So you you, you guys are going to get there first, um, but they want to got... survey more of the Lawless Lands just as a general. Mm -hmm. Okay. I um. I got a 13. Also, did we take a long rest before we left? Uh, I'll give you the long rest, yeah. I just wasn't yeah. sure. Because I just Ten noticed that I, yeah. I didn't heal technically all, like, technically huh. it's supposed to be a short rest it's only been that long but Do you want us to only take a short rest nah i'll give you the long rest okay i'll be 30 uh, minutes to you. a hardcore power mat of 30 I'll be, minutes i'll be nice <laughs> all right uh but you said uh, but yeah, i rolled a I rolled a 13. the, the Leaving Long B, uh, everything seemed very much par for the course. The terrain itself seemed very green and hilly, pristine, almost as if you know Long B and the peninsula that it's that it comes from. It, it seems far removed from everything else that's going on, but as closer to the center of the continent that you're going, further into the mainland, you can now see. You know, the scars of its history and its current turmoils that it's going through. Um, like, what's the vibe? What's the no, atmosphere? No, no. Right back, guys. We gotta get food. Yeah. No, nope. no longer are you seeing those hilly, those green hills. You are now seeing dirt, dark chard, some cracked flooring. Um, the closer you're getting to Lago more of the smoke that's coming from the town uh, begins to almost obscure your vision. Um, obviously, uh, some of the um, some of the people that have had to pass through here, like the Nevisarian refugees, had to go through Lago since that's where the main road leads to. And mm -hmm. even on the exterior from the town, you can see footprints, some items of, of things that were left behind by people who walked on foot. Yeah. You can see some bodies as well. Sparse, but nonetheless. The deeper the, the deeper you are getting into, the more grim and dire the vibe gets. I, uh, I would like to tap on my shoulder and have Winston come out from under my cloak. And as he uh, as he approached, like he sits there, I look at him. Uh, I need to enact your services, my friend. And I will cast Find Familiar. Essentially, he will appear, but I want to create the telepathic link to him. Um, and so as I do... I I look at Tegeo. Um if anything is to happen, I need you to slap me back here, if that oh. makes sense. Do it. Slap the shit out of him. <laughs> Not now. No problem with that, buddy. Oh. I uh I hold out Winston and I hold him out to the hole so he goes out towards Sonaris. Mm -hmm. Um and then I will find familiar and my eyes will glaze over with my iridescent glow and I'll just like kind of like almost go limp and I just lay in my seat. What the f Can I just poke him? Can I like And I him? will no nothing stops you from poking Tybalt's limp body. I'm gonna poke him. As I you do, I can't him. hear you. I can't see you, but I can feel you. And even like not in my normal voice, but like I talk and I'm like Please don't do that. Does your voice does, does your voice come out of Winston? No, it comes out of me. Okay. I poke him again because I want to poke him. Jay, stop it! 
Making sure he's, you know, still good. Um, I'm I... fine. Okay. And I like want to see. Seizure. Hmm. Does it? You look like you're having a seizure. I'm perfectly okay. What's Just going on back there? Focus. <laughs> What the Dear fuck God, you all are so. I will loud. turn this carriage around. <laughs> I move. I, I through Winston's <laughs> eyes. I telepathically like tell him to move up there near Sonaris, and I will climb up to Sonaris's head, and I will make him like stay on your head. Sonaris, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Sonaris, you notice what, what Winston crawling here? up your what side you on your rat? head. I'm driving. I'm like swat it off. <laughs> I make dot. I like. I move him a little bit. Uh, de uh, Winston Dex check. I gotta look at his. I gotta look at a rat. That is uh, that is his stats. Uh, rat stats. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. did I just hear Winston is Dex that, check? Yes. Is that a dead rat? Um. Okay. Dex check. That's gonna be a good old sixteen. 16. Flat 16. You are able to evade Sonaris's swat. I say through the carriage, don't be alarmed. I'm just scouting. And on I'm top of Sonaris's head, through Winston's eyes, through his like skull, like the sockets, the, the iridescent glow comes out, and I'm going to through Winston's eyes look at what I see of this uh, about from his the height he's at, <clears throat> and I have a passive perception of ten, but I get advantage on perception. Ch oh, it's, it's on smell. My bad, not smell. Well, do, I'll do a smell check and then I'll do a vision check if I can roll twice for perception. If that'd be okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'll roll for the I'll. I'll roll for the smell check because I get advantage on that. Okay. Is smell technically survival or what is that? No, it's perception. It's perception because okay. it's keen smell. It's under the actual rat like stat, okay, animal gotcha. stat. Um, uh, it was a eighteen. Okay, and for you're the smell, and you're just generally smelling the yeah, smelling the area around us. Okay, as far as I could see, with a, or as with, far as it can tell, with an eighteen in your acute. Uh, you know, Remy the rat sense of smell. Uh, <laughs> you can smell the saffron oh. 20 miles away. Um, Get notes of, bra of grape and cheese. A little bit of tang. <laughs> um, you can... Uh, the, the, the smell of dead carcass... Um, it's, there's a hint of it in the back. Uh, the main thing that you are that you are smelling is sort of just like the dry heat and sort of like the if dust and dirt had a smell, mm -hmm. they do. Yeah, so the, it's like an earthy kind of smell. The the earthy nothingness with a hint of rot. Okay, and then I'll do a perception, just a normal perception check, no advantage, just to see what I see. Yep. If I can fucking not drop a die, that'd be great. <laughs> Dear God, okay. Uh, that's gonna be a 12. A 12? You can see no more or extra than what Sonaris has seen. But what Sonaris I am. Yeah. Okay, so I get the general gist of the area, I see what he saw. Um, I... Move. I telepathically tell Winston to come back uh, to me, and he'll just like scamper down Sonaris' head to his shoulder, back down, and then come back to my open palm. Mm -hmm. And then I break fine familiar. As I you, tell you what, yeah, as you, as I'm you, actually yeah. very bored. As you as you break fine familiar, your your breath returns to your body. As your eyes return back to its center. As soon as his eyes return, can I smack him? 
roll, I, roll, roll to hit, yeah. <laughs> roll, roll to hit, I guess. <clears throat> ah. It'll just be an unarmed strike, non-lethal. Mm -hmm. Does a 16 hit? Yeah, it just hits. Why are you striking <laughs> him? Because I told her to. <laughs> in to case slap any, him. If anything goes awry, but she's doing it anyway. Uh, if, regardless that nothing has gone awry, um, as soon as you are obviously back t into your own body, Tybalt, the first just thing... Just kind of like you, focusing up for a second. The first thing you see... It's the Gayo. Why is she slapping the shit out of you? Just slaps and I catch my glasses before they fall off my snout. Um, they like, yay! Uh, the Gayo, the Gayo, <laughs> the Gayo. How much is your unarmed strike damage? Is it six? Oh shit. Um. Yeah, it's six. Takes six of uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Ah. Uh, or okay. It's insurance. Nothing actually happened out there. I don't know why you hit me. She just wanted to hit you, dude. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Um, no. Just had to be. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you for the preparedness. Ah. Yep. And no I just kind of like, I rub the side of my cheek and I just fix my glasses back on my, like near my eyes. Anyways, uh, it's not really much going out there. Just a few sparse corpses and a lot of green. Just a few sparse corpses? Oh, that's nothing, dear. I've seen far more in my travels. Devil. Listen, <laughs> cor after the soul is gone, we are but mere flesh. It's all ashes to ashes, dust to dust, you know. It's it's fine. Um. Well, good pep talk. I know. And I like. I, I've been told I'm very so good at those. Uh, I step out. I'm like, I'm gonna go. You no, know, pet the horses now. You're gonna actively step out of a moving carriage. <laughs> the, the the carriage is moving. Oh shit, then never mind. I'm sure she can run fast enough. <laughs> Just wrong. Wait, are they really fast? Fast? Nate, you're muted. They the 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 the, the horses are, are galloping, you know. Sort of at oh. a Sort just of, sort leans of... her Goliath arm over Sonaris and just just like catches a glimpse of her of one of the horse's tails. I think they're a little farther up in front of the carriage. Yeah. I don't know if you could reach that far. <laughs> yeah, probably not. The entire length of a horse. He, unless he got extendo arms that we just don't know about. <laughs> you got the grab really pack from arms. Poppy's Playtime. Shape shifts into a <laughs> shape shifts into a bugbear. <laughs> I Okay, I don't know about you. I'm tired of sitting here. So We'll get used I'm... to it. We got another hour. What are you gonna do? Jump out of a fucking moving vehicle? No, I'm not a fucking idiot. I mean, pardon my language, but I mean, it, I mean, I, I usually <laughs> like to do things. I like to keep myself busy. I will f inevitably find something. You know what? And I'm going to, with my big frame, climb out into the front of the carriage and sit with Sonaris in the tiny hole. That uh, through the through through the tiny little slit hole where you can see the passenger. I'm going to rip it as I go through. You go ahead and you actively damage the carriage so that you can just a little bit <laughs> birth through the oh, carriage. What are you doing? Excuse me. Ah, oh, sorry. I just I just wanted to come up and see the sights. I... Stay out there. Do not come back into this fucking carriage. <laughs> Listen, I've had to Moving walk carriage. everywhere. This is a nice convenience. I'd like to enjoy the journey. You are. You should have sat up here from the beginning. You literally just uh, destroyed the carriage. Well, I can't. I didn't destroy the carriage. You, you are being. It. I. You are being Perfect. so aggressive right now. Ghost is going to be pissed. Every one of you has been so aggressive. Why can't you be more like Lanton? He's pretty carefree. I don't... I, I just Look like... Look at him and ask us why we can't be like... It. 
Are you serious? I, I just look at look at everybody. It's like, like I I haven't really. I mean, I've been listening, but I haven't really been partaking in the conversation. So I'm surprised when my name is heard. Yes, I mean, look at him. He's perfectly fine, and he's not lambasting me every second I'm here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> my point is made. And oh, I sit next oh. to Sonaris. Sonaris just chuckles to himself a little bit at the at day's comment. <laughs> I, uh... I look at Sonaris. So... Um... About... Little, uh... Experiment back at Long B. Again, I did... I do appreciate you allowing me to take a look at V. Uh, and as I said, from what I saw, Ayuna has a tighter grip on the lost souls more so than I ever thought she did. Um, and I know you also questioned the, uh, the truths I was giving forth, and I figured I might be honest with you now, now that we have some time. Uh, okay. And I'll whisper just to him. I only want him to hear, if I can make that possible. Noah, no roles required. When, when everyone left and I was about to make my way back into town, I, I did not mess with V, but I messed with three of the other individuals that were turned into Grove. Uh, one was a tiefling, I believe one of the citizens of Longby. One was a knoll from the Knoll Lands, and one was, uh, I believe, an elf. When I animated their corpses with my magic, I was able to peer past that thin veil into uh, the astral plane, as I've called it now. I, I tried my hardest, and I don't know what came over me, but I almost felt this hunger, this desire to control. Um, I tried to bring them back, those three individuals, put the soul back to the body and it just wasn't taking, but through my trial and error, I, I was very quickly interrupted by the one you all call Iuna. You spoke? It was more of uh, demands from myself more than it was just speaking. She was very coy in our discussion. I demanded that she let go of these souls and she just seemed to look at them like playthings. She definitely enjoys the power over others. As a god, I imagine would. So, so I was gonna say, sounds something a, a god like, might be might enjoy. Exactly. But even then, I I'm not a very religious man, but even then it still took me aback. Whatever her motives are, I don't think it's all what we've been hearing. I, uh, when I was at Belfort and some of your companions had been there, they were discussing this idea that Diuna seemed to want to bring the Wildwood back to fruition and, take, and let nature take its course over the continent back to where it once was long ago in our history. That would uh, correlate with what's been happening, I would imagine. I don't think it's just that, or if that is her end goal. I think it's complete 
annihilation of living species in her and turned into her image of perfection. I'm also not one to get frightened, but this deeply, deeply scares me and is troubling for the future. Like I said before, if we can find a way to not kill the hosts unless they've been too far gone, we need to get her grasp away from them. Because if she gets any more people than she already has, we're not going to win this conflict. And as I say that last sentence, I'll just kind of look out towards Lago. <laughs> Hopefully, the town ahead can be our first little foray into this thought experiment. Um, Tibble, as you're looking forward, um... Yes, obviously you see, you know, the, the, the burning town of Lago in front of you. But considering where you are geologically in Radon, off of the corner of your left eye, you are as well able to see the northern dam itself. And, you know, how, how wide it spans pretty much the entire width of the continent. The snowy tips of the uh of the northern heights mountain range you know that's that's sequestered above it and the dams themselves it's built off of you know the 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 eastern pass entrance and the dwarven keratin statues that are on top of it and behind all of that a massive pillowing black smoke mm. you can see it all the way from here yeah it appears something is going on over at the dam. The the the, 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 the smoke is behind the uh Oh. The oh. Okay, sorry. No. Switch it, reverse it. There appears to be something behind the mountains. Uh, probably a good guess to say that's the uh the fire god that's running rampant back there. Oh, do you know that, though? I briefly was informed by the Long B Council. Yeah. How did that, uh... How did that occur? Okay. One god is quite a lot, but two seems a little overkill. How? You want the long story or the short? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, I have an back, answer. I kind of sit back and I take out my I take out my note, like my uh, book. By all means, be as thorough as you can. And I take out uh, normal ink and a quill. What will he tell him? By all means, go ahead. Stop. Oh. He has Clant in this question. He Clant would <laughs> do everything. Uh, three of us, me, Glanton, and Sage arrived in Nevisera. We met up with the uh, with the other individuals. Uh, Fang, who you don't know. Uh, Valzir, you don't know. Day and uh, Tegeo. Uh, understood. We fought some groven creatures and so or and stuff in the city, you know. How how you do sometimes. They were they were able to make their way into Nevisera. Uh yeah. Um There are these beacon things. They're like weird. <sighs> 
ball things. They're like, they almost look like the. As you say that, I write down so things. in quotes, fucking ball thing. They're, they're just they're like they're like ball. They, 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 do we have one in the car? Dodecahedrons. Uh, Sage Danny, do we have one in the car? Sage right has it. Sage it was, has it. It was back. It was in Sage's possession. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we don't have it right now. I, mean, I, I, I could show you later. I, 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 I think Sage has it. Okay, so some strange artifact you found. And now that I say it out loud, not exactly knowing 100% where this very powerful object is, is not a great thing. Um, yeah, you might want to keep better eyes on that. Okay, but anyways, we started helping the town guard catch uh, some serial killer type person, uh, just trying to help out. Uh, and we chased them to some school. Mm -hmm. We started fighting. Fang had this dagger. Not sure where it came from. I wasn't a part of the group when they when he acquired it. Okay. He, I guess, just thought it was a normal weapon. Went up and attacked the individual. The uh, the individual started to catch on fire. Yeah. That, that does not sound like a. And I put my fingers the up. The fire grew normal weapon. to an individual. A giant, like, demon-looking thing. You... And then somehow we missed five weeks. Or a month. Uh, when you say that, I'm, I'm like, I don't know what to say. I just stare at my notebook and I'm like, I, I stop writing. Listen, man, I'm just as confused as you are. I... How are you all even alive? That is a very, very a good, good question. question. <clears throat> yeah, I don't so, know either. Everyone in the theater was basically dead. Not fully yet, but uh, getting there. Only mostly dead. <laughs> I've been alive forever. Passed so I out. I, I think I was some afterlife. I don't know. There were some giants, some giant Wait. individuals, and then what we did, awoke on the beach. What did this, what did this, afterlife look like to you? It was very, very white, like blinding. A connection has been made there, Tibble. They, were. they spoke in some language I could not understand, and I just passed it off as a hallucination. I, Listen, you are not. It, it, somehow I went from the southernmost point, one of the southernmost points, to one of the northernmost points. I don't fucking know. What did you? So besides the white, you said you these beings spoke to you. What did they look like? Uh, one was gray-ish. And the other one was kind of like a teal. But it was very blurry. Can I roll a history check? Go ahead. Listen, man, I passed out. Dirty, uh, 24. 24? 24. Out of all of the history books that you have, you know, gone through for your like for, 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 for your for your certification to become a professor, you need to be privy to a variety of of different you know aspects, um, especially with the kind of field that you specialize in. You you you've been able to acquire a little bit of insight from the clerical ward in order to make sense as well from your necromatic skills. Essentially, the visages of all of the elements that make, you know, this world make sense. Air, nature, water, and fire. And all of these, you know, different elements had their own physical embodiments and representations. Ayuna fits the bill. This 
fiery looking thing that Sonaris is describing. And what you've all as well been told by the Lumbinian Council sort of adds up to the fire visage, Esnas. Um, this gray and teal thing that Sonaris is now bringing up could be the other two. Moros, the god of wind, and Veda, goddess of water. It appears to be that I don't believe you were hallucinating. You might have been in the astral plane, and if you saw the other individuals whom I'm thinking it might be the other gods, that means that they can freely pass through that realm, or maybe they even reside in that realm deep, deep, deep within it. And that is where you were. But they decided to do what I cannot yet do and bring you back. And if, if, if my hypothesis leads me to believe that if these gods reside in the astral plane, Iuna was already able to freely move. She just decided to take her hands and grasp it as tight as she could. The others probably just stay there, residing over the passing of souls, much like an afterlife would be. But Iuna is the one that took the first step to controlling it making it her own. For all intents and purposes, you were given a second chance by these other two, by Veda and Moros. For what it is, I don't know. I mean, you all call yourselves champions. I imagine they see the same. All ourselves champions, but it's more just like we kind of help out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We you, Weird you shit has been happening for months. Welcome to my daily life. I... You... Did you get teleported to the top of a dam? No, but I can probably teleport anyway. You saw what I did to all of you. Teleportation's baby steps. And you do it in a bubble. Dog. I don't do it in a bubble. I use my my uh, transmutation circles in order to cast my spells. But I you have to have the circle. Can you do it freely without the circle? I have not mastered that yet. But usually in my teachings, you need to have the proper runes and proper diagrams made such as the circle, in order for it to work. That's just how magic... That's the laws of magic. At least here it is. I don't know anywhere else. I imagine in the astral plane, I was able to do things I haven't done. Or I didn't have full control over, and I pull out the wand slowly and only show him. Everybody's seen it, but I only kind of just hold it in my hand in front of me. What does it look like again? It looks like it is carved from bone and you can see on it splotches of dark brown reddish hue to it where I where it's old that, blood dried blood that looks like something you'd have I know it fits me quite well um, when I found it uh, interesting little story with that I was I was younger and I went on an excursion this is after my uh, preliminary lessons at Belfort and I was very interested in wanting to pursue necromancy of course everyone else thought it was weird but I've gotten that most of my life so it didn't really bother me but I was able to convince the council that I would want to go on a sabbatical of sorts in order to maybe learn what I could and then come back and see what I could present to them in order to g gain 
not employment, but to at least gain knowledge and be able to practice what I wanted to practice. Um, I traveled far and wide from the south to the lawless lands, through Klyka, nor I've been many places around the continent. There are some places I still would love to go. When I went, I believe, uh, DM, remind me, because I can't think off the top of my head, where did I go? Where was I when I, like, what city was I in when I found the wand? Do you want me to text it to you? Please. Well, just just say it, because I'm going to say it anyway. Corotazone. Okay. I uh, made my way to Corotazone. I uh, enjoyed the lavishness of it. It was a lot for me, but I, uh, I was trying to look for many individuals because I knew necromancy usually is frowned upon in most circles, no matter who you are. So I tried looking deeper into the place I knew you could find someone well, of ill repute. Necromancy tends to be used in uh, evil, horrible ways. ways. Exactly. I came upon one of the many stucco shacks within Corota Zone. Um, I had been following this individual for many, many days. He seemed like a typical vagrant passing through the town, just living there. But when I came upon his living space, he was dissecting many people there were many jars filled with various parts but the person he was working on was splayed open but he had the wand in his hand me being a larger individual I'm not the quietest so I accidentally I tried sneaking in and was unfortunately ambushed by him And that was the first time I ever had to defend myself. And it was the first time I ever had to take someone's life. As he laid there, I took the wand and it filled me with this the same feeling I described to you earlier, this hunger this desire for control over others, this hatred, but it was powerful and, I, and part of me enjoyed that, so I took it. I never told the council at Belfort. I showed them what I could do, I even showed Winston when I first made him and they were very pleased and I told them my plan like I told you all I'm looking to make necromancy not a taboo subject it has its uses and I think it even has merit to saving people helping people but the wand is what gives me that I know you may not have seen it but it does require a little bit of coercion and that's why I prick my fingers put the blood to it it seems to work that way a I eye for an eye kind of deal would explain all the the stains yeah I normally am a tidy individual but this thing is very peculiar about what it wants but it did it is what allowed me to see the astral plane it's what gives me it doesn't give me my powers I, I, I've always been pretty good with magic since I was a kid but this gave me more than I could ever want do you I, mind if I hold it for a second I look at it in my hand You can. Whatever it may speak inside your head, 
I suggest ignoring it. It does like to do that. I've had to make my mind a steel trap because of this thing. So, take that with as much caution as you desire. I'll, uh... I slowly hand him the wand. I'll grab it. Not, like, tightly, but just, like, have, like kind of in my, just in, resting in my hands. The, uh, the two horses... Just, are... My, my, my yeah. right hand, just next to the one hand that's not holding the, the horses. The, the reins, horses. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you hold it in your hand, you, I mean, you, in your, as your times as a, you know, as an apprentice to your, to your father as a blacksmith, um, you haven't really been that privy when it comes to wands themselves. You've never really had a reason to hold one yourself. You've always been a very brawn and brash individual when it comes to it. So the delicacy of a wand is almost an alien subject to you so it's very interesting that these arcane focuses pack quite the punch that it does especially after the stories Tibble have told you about this particular wand um in particular um you can see that the bone carvings around the hill seems to be very um ornate um it's around a it's probably it, carved it, from a femur, is what it, I it's, imagine. It's it's, 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 it's long. It's, a, like it's, a, a... it's around eighteen inches, so it's whatever bone it came from. It it had to have been from a large individual it's before. Wide. It's like thin, but it's like yeah. It's 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 long. It's, 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 it is a it is a long you. wand. Um, do you in wish... my hands it doesn't seem probably that yeah. that big but to you it's probably like it's insane it's like i don't doesn't it's not speaking to me do you wish uh, to make any sort of like um, other other yeah. looks at it um so with it in my hands i'd like to try and uh like i i want to roll an arcana i want to i want to see if i can derive what is powering this thing? Mm -hmm. Um, blood. <laughs> just like kind of like, uh, why? Kind of like if I could tell why it has a, a like a lust for blood, I guess, to power it. Okay. Uh, you. It, it's something. It's something very much in specific that you're trying to glean for, so feel free to make a Arcana check for it. Get that nat twenty. That's terrible. No, that was awful. I rolled a two and a three. <laughs> two and a three. Like advantage on, on Arcana. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, th this is this is well above your pay grade. Yeah. Um, it was a thought because I was like, oh, I have a deck of Arcana checks. Like, I think I could take good At checks on that. No, I did not. <laughs> as as you try to open the door, as to you know whatever machinations are behind the wand itself like rune on my like my, my bracer kind of like glows a little bit trying to look into it uh and you see that make a make a wisdom saving, saving throw. throw nate's vibing over 14? here right now <laughs> 14 <laughs> 14. As, you're, as, you, as you as you as you as you as you open the door to you know the arcana side of this wand the wand almost recognizes you for a second weird i'll hand it back as soon as you do like the trade-off of the hand uh, of the wand it slips through your fingers and through your fingers you can slightly hear a word honey what's that what's that nani that's why i thought I heard nani, nani? <laughs> nani? nani? <laughs> you oh. you hear the delicate wisp of a woman's voice saying honey oh honey oh no 
Shit. <laughs> oh, I know what that might hand, be. I, 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 I continue to hand it off. But I, I take it back. I, I, I'm just so like, bloody. As it comes back into my possession, can I read it? Can I read anything like in the interim as he, as my hands and his hand is on it and he passes it to me? Can I get anything from it? Arcana. Cool. That's a nat 20 plus eight. Nat 20. Oh, fuck you. 28. Oh Why uh, did I, what did I get a shield? The, uh, <laughs> the, you, you, you know that the wand has its connections to the astral plane. Um, Almost, almost as a, almost as a, a tether, if you will. So whatever passes through it um, is no, it's not in any control. Um, you definitely feel that something from beyond tried to use the wand as a focus as well um, during that pass off. I look at his hand and see the rune glow. And I look at him. Tell me this, Sonaris, if you so choose. As I hold the wand back in kind of its state, I just have it on my, like, lap. In my hand. Have you lost anyone... recently? Besides your friend. Well, two friends. Who was the second individual? Valzir. I understood that, yes. And V. Besides those two, anyone else that you may at least to your knowledge no. that is dead no are you deceiving or because uh, I want to roll insight yeah if, if you're going to roll insight yeah Yeah, I'll roll insight deception Sonaris cool I have an advantage oh, on oh, insight here was the only one in the group that knew Sonaris's uh, little backstory uh, little backstory yep. so nobody else knows and nobody else can explain it to you yeah yeah kind of mid uh, this this, in, this info is now once again solely within sonaris <laughs> mine is going to be a 19 with advantage okay i rolled a 15 tibble so i can you, definitely tell you're hiding something. you can yeah. tell him tibble like, you 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 definitely know sonaris is even kg no, i was not just not not answering the question yeah yeah If you choose not to be forthright with me, but I will ask you to remember the words you told me. If you expect to be in the group, telling the truth might be a little more acceptable. I don't judge. I don't... I've seen more than my fair share. Nothing will really surprise me. I only ask because... Most individuals that put their hands on this wand, other than myself, which is far and few between, tend to have those that they've lost speak. I only ask. And I ask the question again. Have you lost anyone before Valzir and before V? Or at least those that you believe to possibly be dead. My parents. In the best attack. And we and well before that, my late love. And when I, I passed the wand over, I thought I heard a thing, but I'm not a hundred percent. And I'm not interested in looking for further right now. I kind of grip my hand around the wand. But is the rest of us hear this conversation? We're trying to whisper, so unless your passive perceptions are high. Yeah, um, unless, unless you have a passive perception that is at least a 18 or higher, 
or you're actively trying to perception it, you wouldn't. Well, did it. he? Did you roll a stealth when you were speaking? I did not. Mm -hmm. Danny said I didn't have to roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If somebody wanted to listen in on a whisper, they would have to perception. I. For whatever it's worth, I am sorry for the loss of your parents and of your love. And I kind of say that word very awkwardly. It's hard to lose those that we care about. That yeah, noble. But maybe, like I said before, maybe we can find a solution to that. And I put the wand back under my sleeve, like in, like hidden. Well, on we go, I guess. And I just kind of look away from him and I just kind of stare out into the woods and just think on all that we've been discussing. Um, the Gayo. Hello. Uh, the, the, the outside, you know, the entrance door of the carriage, um, you're able to see, you know, the area around you. Mm -hmm. Um, you're also able to see, you know, some of the bodies that are peppered across the landscape. As the landscape itself changes from a lush green to a more muted dirt color. Um, from your mm -hmm. time away from the pillars and away from the champions, you know this area unfortunately a little too well when you were bring, sort of safeguarding all of the refugees you know, from this area towards Long B. So it's it's odd and heartbreaking to be, you know, back in this area. Yeah. Is there anything that you would uh, that you would like to do now that you're sort of unfortunately back here? Um. Yes and no. I don't know. It's <clears throat> really reminiscent of you know what's ha what happened and all that. Um, I I don't know what Thigail would do in this case. <laughs> I I will say that uh, you kind of look a little visibly uncomfortable. Yeah. To the point where Day and Glanton, if you wanted to roll perception or insight, you may be able to glean I would info love from to. your. I, I would love to roll. Me too. <laughs> I would love to roll. Sean got the popcorn and everything. He's invested in this shit. <laughs> Domino. I have my uh, Stanley Parable oh, patented reassurance bucket. All right, let's see your perception. Which one's better? Well, both my perception and my insight same. are both the same, so same. that would be a 22 for me. Uh, okay. Let's see. It will be a 13 for me. Day, uh, you, you notice uh, the Gayo, you know, bouncing the anxiety leg uh, on, on, the, on the carriage, so you can tell that, you know, she's, she has a, a few things on her mind. Glanton, you 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 notice uh, the way how she's sort of darting on the outside, her bouncing leg, and just generally how she's carrying herself. You can sort of tell that there is an immense amount of pain, regret, and loss behind her happy-go-lucky facade. Um, she's going through it. Um, she's strong enough to hold it to bear. But it still doesn't stop, you know, the intrusive thoughts that sort of shoot through her mind. Let's see. I'll be right back. My cat's meowing at me. Uh. 
I look over at uh, at Figeo, and I see how distraught she looks. I sort of like lean in a, li a little bit, like wanting to speak, like not necessarily in a in a hushed tone, but like, but you know, like close and and quiet quiet enough. I I, I lean over, I lean over, and I and I say and I say to her. Are you all right, the Gayo? You appear to be rather distant. Uh, well, I can't argue with that. Um, I just... <sighs> you know, I was here not too long ago. And... I've seen these people. And I've seen what's happened to them. It's disgusting, and You ever get the feeling that you should have done more? Yep. That it... I don't know... Times I do, yes. I believe that is a rather common occurrence with most everyone living. Yeah. It is. I don't know. Um, remember, um, to, mm -hmm. to Day uh, and Glanton, um, the Gayo has caught you up on what she has been, uh, what she's been doing, you know, when she wasn't with the, the party. So you guys are aware um, already that she was mainly the one to help the refugees get, you know, from outside of the South uh, to Long B. So you, you kind of already know what she's referring to. Um, so yeah. Okay. Got you. Um, you've been through a lot, the Gayo. Indeed. Yeah, it's dealing with that on top of you know losing Val's ear. Yeah, but that's the way life goes, unfortunately. I know. I'm glad that y'all are still around, though. So. Oh yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah. And we are glad that you are with us again. Yes. I love you guys. Oh. I hope you know that. You the best. You are too, kid. <laughs> I'm older than you. I'm like four. You know, years you're old. still shorter than me, so <laughs> shut up. Fine. <laughs> um, I honestly didn't even have to do a a a time jump because it's actually been an hour. Is it really? Oh shit! In that travel, <laughs> yeah. In that travel, we got <laughs> deep and personal. <laughs> approaching the perimeter of Lago. Let me uh, go ahead and send you guys a picture of generally what you see um, and allow me to set the mood a little better. Are we getting sexy in this bitch? <laughs> no! Not the, <laughs> not the vibe at all! <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a fire city. Uh, yeah. It's a lit city. Is it still <laughs> on fire? I'm, oh, well, I'm sure it's it not loading my phone. Alright. Ugh. I'm gonna go hang out with the cat. Oh, yeah. Chill out. Not a fun time. So. To explain. As you guys are approaching forward. The, the smell of rotted wood rotted meat the dense dampness 
of just moisture. And for acute smellers, the smell of mint um, is becoming, oh. you know, ever so present. Awesome. To be To be expected. You're still roughly around maybe a mile or two away. Um, but generally, you are able to see ruined structures covered in a mossy, gooey-like material. You can still see the fires are still um, lit inside some of these structures. But surprisingly enough, you're able to see trees themselves being grown almost like a just sprouting up out of nothing you can see various large vine like tendrils as well you know inside the uh, inside the town itself while a horde of grove walk around the, the 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 perimeter and as well within how many can we see just on the just from where we are just from what you can see you can see like can't be any short of maybe a hundred uh, just on the outside this place is like spread, spread out? Or is it like all super condensed? It's, it's spread out. But I mean, again, this is a small town. It's a hundred. I, I, I oh, put like my hand out in front of Sonaris. Don't move any closer. Yeah, we'll stop here. Yeah, yeah. You, you bring the horses, you know, to, to stop. You're able to see the outside of the town. It is... It is a grim sight to see the front line of you know Groven territory and what to expect should your mission fail we, there's no way we can clear all of them out well when we were in town the majority of them seemed to die in one hit in one nice clean, clean hit with the sword to their gut they were down but you see how they work. They work better in a group. A group like this, they'll just take us with no problem. It's a horde. It's not a small band. I suggest we move and hide the carriage. Quiet the horses. We do not need them encroaching upon us. There's no way we're getting in there. Unless we hide, but even then, I'm not too keen on wanting to go right into the devil's mouth. Let's, uh, let's pull the horses off. Yeah, okay, don't smile, you fucking coops. <laughs> put, put, put them behind a tree or something. Find, find a place where we can hide, kind of hide them off to the side. I would not just take the horses. I'd hide the whole carriage. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, part, put the put the whole thing somewhere separate. Fine. I say we move it out. And then if we're gonna take. move in, we move on up. You're you're around a you're around a mile away from the actual town itself. <clears throat> you can you can see a home sort of off to the to the side of the road. It's a little bit off, you know, in the outskirts. But you've seen, you know, homes built from nowhere before if you don't want to, you know, live in a city or a town or whatever. People have made homes on their own land. You can find one sort of off to the, uh, sort of off to the side. Um, <laughs> beaten, disheveled, um, ruined, Looks abandoned, but it gives you cover from the large. But it gives you cover from the town, so quietly to uh, to well, like assume this place has got people in it, and then I lean back into the uh, into the carriage. Everybody needs to get out 
we're leaving the carriage here. And then we need to make sure that this place where we're leaving the carriage is actually abandoned. We'll scour this home first. Which side of the which side of the town are we coming in from, by the way? So the compass from, on like, the, the from the um, compass in the bottom is like yeah. So are we, from the, are we at the north, the south? Where are we at? So, yeah. So the compass is also north. relative to the main Radon map. So if north mm -hmm. is north, you guys are coming in uh, from the northeast. Okay. So like in the direction the smoke and the wind is. So can we see the giant hole in the ground? Or I guess we're not close enough. Yet. You're not. You're. You're not close enough to see something flat. Right. right. Yeah, it's flat ground. Makes sense. I get off the carriage. Behind, dust myself off, and I hold out my wand. I'll go check the inside. Yeah. And I slowly approach the door of the house. Okay. Holding uh, out my wand. Does uh, Does everybody follow suit? Yes. I get off, but I'll tie tying the horses to a post or something. Yeah, you're I'll dealing with the carriage. Out. And then, I'll, and then I'll move inside once I have that done. Okay. Um, Day, Tibble, go in first. first. Um, you two. South track. Is a strength check or stealth? Stealth. 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 Okay, I heard strength. I'm like, why the fuck am I? 16. 16. Hold on. Okay. Let me roll my thing. That will be a 12. And 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tibble, you're able to make your way onto the porch. Easy enough as somebody who doesn't wear shoes. It's actually kind of, you know, yeah. soft. Uh, day, um, you accidentally knock your staff uh, on the side of the uh, on the side of the wall, making. I a, stop and I look at her. I would like oh, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> I would like everybody else now to make self checks, uh, following behind the two of them. Cool. Oh, sorry. Stealth is not my strong suit. Yeah, I know you're wearing a big, fucking amount of armor, and then we have Glanton ah. that's just metal. Yep. We get turned out decent. We have, no, we took the least stealthy fucking people. Listen, except for maybe Day. What were we gonna we, do? I know. We have a bunch of fuckers wearing metal plate armor. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I am sixteen. So a little frazzled there, bud. What do you mean? <laughs> I can only be as quiet as my armor won't clank. <laughs> uh, as like you were, oh no, uh, so, like half suit of armor. Sonaris, as you were tying the uh, the horses, the, the the horses sort of got. A little startled as soon as you started to makes the noise. walk away. Um, everybody oh, else, everybody else, I'll kill able... you, <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> horses. Everybody, everybody else is able to make it alongside the rest of the party. Um, Glanton, surprising <laughs> Tybalt uh, on how quiet you can be. I look at Glanton and I nod at him. I'll look at the Gao and I'll nod at her. I'm gonna reach my hand for the door. As you reach and slowly turn. You can hear the metal creaking. It opens fully. Like the, the knob itself turns fully, it's unlocked. I look at everyone, take a couple breaths, holding out my wand. I'm gonna swing open the door and point my wand inside. Forcefully. Open the door quick, point wand inside. I mean Yeah. The yeah. the the door swings open with haste as the actual squeak of the door is only brief. And you point your wand inside, only to be greeted by dust particulates along a deserted hallway that runs through the length of the home. To the left, 
you can see a kitchenette with drawers open. Some of the hinges are off. Plates around the tables broken, dirtied with bits of rotting meat. On the right, you can see a camp, uh, sort of a, um, a fireplace, cold ash, an unkempt rug. I'll, I'll fix my glasses with my hand kind of shaking a little bit. Then I'll, ta- I'll slowly step inside, still wand in front of me, aiming, left, uh, basically as if I had a gun, left, I'm left, right, straight, move in. I would like everybody to make a perception check for me. Perception. Orange roll. I'm having a terrible time. 22. Hell yeah. Um, three. Nat one. 19. 15. 12. Day. Mm hmm. You hear on the back left side of the uh, of the house something falling over okay hey tibble are you whis- are we all whispering by the way everybody's generally yeah kind of in a, in a, in okay. a rush tone i back look left. behind me back left understood and I start making my way towards back left. I look at Sonaris. And I coax him to come forward with me. I need your assistance. Sonaris, do you move forward up to near me? Sean. Mm. I'm sorry. You're fine. I coaxed you forward to come up with me to follow me to that back left of the house. Do you want to follow with me? Yes. Okay. Basically, right behind me, like a tactical team, and just moving through. As you as you make your way to the uh, to the left side of the doorway, you can see that the door of which Day is referring to is already cr- like cracked open. I get right there at the door, near, kind of hugging the wall. Mm-hmm. I kind of turn my head behind me to my shoulder and I tell Sonar, I've always wanted to do this. I've only seen, I've only seen this in Noxon. And I kick the door open and I aim my wand. The door actually get kicked open. <laughs> You kick oh, the shit. you kick the door open and the door like a cop. Yeah. The the door Empty breaks the door breaks off of the hinges as the wood almost falls apart. The it breaks and it falls onto the wooden floor as you can see what appears to be a bedroom. Any uh, any individual. There is one person that you can see behind cowering the bed. They put a hand and a my big sword out <laughs> and a wrapped hand like a wrapped arm up please please I, not me state your name they stand i kind of put my hand in front of a table and we settle uh, check announcements revealing this human uh, individual. Whereas you can see that they have haphazardly wrapped a severed arm. Subtle, subtle. Stan. (laughs) Right there. Survivor. Sir. Unwrap your wound, please. 
he slowly reaches for it. And as he's I am aiming it, right at yeah, him. And as he's unwrapping it. <clears throat> I, I do not. With his pain and his worry. I like. I'm sure Sonaris can see me. I have no emotion. I have dead eyes looking at him. I'm not caring. I'm not, I do not have any emotion to show. I'm looking at him with the most serious look I can have. Please, sir. It Ooh, It hurts. Keep. What are you doing? I'm making sure he's not infected. You can see that the wound f is fully revealed. Whoever is going to investigate it from afar, medicine check at disadvantage. Unless you want to move up and, you know, take a closer look. I will slightly move medicine closer check with, with disadvantage? staying behind me. If you, I'll do it with disadvantage. I, I'm, I'll move closer. I'm, I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at medicine. Let's see. So Glanton will come up behind us in the open doorway. As as you two, as everybody is approaching him, he is like actively trying to get away from you guys as possible almost cowering behind the curtain with the bed in between everybody please please because <laughs> i'm moving because i'm moving closer do i still get disadvantage yes because he's now like like I'm actively he, trying to hide he, he, he's not wanting to do anything with you please settle down uh it's You're gonna be 12. Help. I got a we just want to make we just want to make sure that you're okay before we proceed. Wait, what you got? I got thirteen. Persuasion, Sonaris. Which kind of sucks. If it, if it were at advantage, I would be at twenty-eight right now. I would be a dirty twenty right now if I had advantage. If I had normal flat roll. That's a fifteen. Fifteen. You can see that the you can see that the man <laughs> there is still a tenseness in the air. It is only slightly alleviated. What were uh, the medicine rolls? Twelve and thirteen. Twelve and thirteen. Uh, Glanton from you know as far back as sort of as you are you can see that yes whatever happened to this individual they lost their arm it seems to have been within maybe the past few days um unfortunately Tibble, you can't glean anything more than that I'm going to move closer to him, slowly moving the bed, and I hold my hand up and put my wand up. May I please inspect your injury, sir? Persuasion. Fourteen. slowly moving his severed hand towards you. With the utmost care and precision, I take out a cloth from my bag and I put it in my hand and I hold up the, his arm and I look and I'm actually I'm basically doing it, the full medical treatment, like looking at, I, I, I want to discombobulate, I want to like a Sherlock Holmes, I am studying this thing like mm -hmm. diagrams in my head. Yeah. Uh... Now that you're up close, now now that you're up close and you're looking at it through that lens, medicine at advantage. Nat twenty. <laughs> All right. Because this die gives me my fucking go goaded roll. You are able to know pretty much everything from this wound. Um. Let's go. Three days old. Okay. You can tell that it wasn't bandaged well enough to stem the bleeding. So this man has lost a lot of blood. You can also see that he is pretty malnourished and extremely dehydrated. 
He is almost at death's door. This wound as well is highly infected. <laughs> is highly infected, not even from general infection that a wound would get. But whatever did this left behind traces very similar to the tendrils that you saw on V's autopsy I look at him and I immediately go into urgent care mode of with that nat 20 you are as well able to see those tendrils begin to creep through underneath his skin which have now reached his neck I look at Sonaris and I'm not anxious but from like breaking away from like the dead stoicness I'm I'm like acting like a surgeon in a operating room I'm like I need rations I need fresh water and I look at everyone else. Can anyone get me some sort of disinfectant? Or if you have any type of clerical spell in order to stop this, at least to keep it stable. Um. And I, I'm literally listening off. I need a ration, mm -hmm. a water skin, and either some sort of way to disinfect this, whether it be a medical pouch, or a, or someone has a, a healing spell, no matter how small. Um, I know yeah. that I have rations. Yeah, I got some, I got some rations. You should all have rations. Yeah. I don't because I don't eat. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any, uh, uh, I bet we all have a water skin, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, does anybody have actual healing spells? Anyone? Oh, have lay on hands. Fucking right. Let's do that. I have cure wounds. I don't oh. have any. I do too. Okay. Even lay, better. Lay on hands and cure wounds are technically two different things. So lay on hands. What does it do? And how uh, much does it heal? Uh, I'm trying to find it. I know I have it for sure. Um, Should be in your feet. Under your palate. Oh, okay. Uh, That's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Cure wounds. You, I know it's, it's like it's, a. It's just he, it's just healing. You get ten there points of healing. There we go. Um, I can do oh, it restores sixty HP per long grass. That's pretty good. That's actually a better average than cure wounds. It's much higher bubble than me, so yeah. Mm. I think cure um, wounds is just. Healing. It's a flat roll. I mean, you can cast it a higher, but sixteen is a good baseline flat. That's a good chunk of health. Um, I look at Tegeo, um, if you would be so kind. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, I walk towards the kid, or the, um, the person, and I put my hand on him, and I heal for 60. Okay. 60? Wait. Well, I can heal, 16. like, up to 16. 16. Oh, okay, I was like, Me? fucking okay. 60? Jesus, fuck. I was like, why the fuck have we not used Tegeo more as, like, a back heel tank, like, right now? Right. Um, right. Okay, so... As a... As, as Tegeo rests their hand uh, on, on the human, the human sort of... <sighs> Holy... Oh. <sighs> I take... I take a... I imagine, uh... Actually... To make it easier, because that's me. You know what? I'll just take out my water skin. I'll I'll deduct a ration from myself. Yeah. A little, a little, a, with 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 the ration and giving this man water and the actual healing color returns to his eyes. Um, the the actual infection itself doesn't go away. Like the, the, those tendrils are still at its neck. Um, However, his breath is no longer raspy. Um, he has the strength to like sort of move a little bit more on his on his own. I want to help him. I want to support yeah. him, like kind of like hold him up 
Oh, um, more importantly, the actual bleeding from his wound has now stopped. Before, there was a little bit of, like, still blood on there, uh, but now the blood has actually stopped. <sighs> um, what, what, uh, what way did you guys, uh, just, just come from? We came from Long B. Okay, um. What is your name? Are you the only survivor? Uh. Not too many questions, Sonaris. He's kind of still in shock. Uh, uh, my name is, uh, is Garretton. Garretton, okay. Like the hair, never mind. And like my companion just asked, are you the only one left here? Uh, my, um, they, uh, they they took my son he uh, he 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 couldn't be any 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 shorter than any dwarf that you may have seen he uh he, he he's he's um he has a little bit of a he, his hair is out he has a he has an afro he um he he was wearing this green jacket um that that his mother got him he uh was he taken into the town he, he, oh god he starts crying in front of you spiraling anxiety takes i him. i me not being super emotional i i'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder and make him look and like move my gaze to his keeping eye contact with him the whole time and what is his name again i apologize garretton 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 i need you to look at me please was he taken into the town to the best of his ability he tries to like motion a nod a, a, a haphazard nod. Um, it doesn't take insight or perception to know that that's his best guess. I look at Sonaris and everyone else. And with a straight up, like, still in my kind of, like, the way I'm talking, I'm like, rest assured, we are here to help. And we'll get your son back. At DM, I am actively lying to this man, but I want to be as calm as I can. Uh, deception. Thirteen. Thirteen. I, I didn't, I lied about his son, not lied about that we're here to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Bless you. Oh, God bless you. He sort of takes you like the back of your head and brings you in close for 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 a hug. This man. I'm just kind of standing there. I have my arms out and I don't know what to do. His 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 tears pepper you throughout your your cloth and your chest. He reeks. He smells like war and death. The smell doesn't bother me. It's the emotions that bother me. Mm -hmm. He is he is, uh, he is fully falling into you, trusting you as the first friendly face that he has seen after seeing the war firsthand. He'll take anything. I'll gently pat him on the back. Okay. And I just kind of like I, as as kind as I can, kind of scooch back. I I want to take a look at his where it was infecting. Is that stopped for a moment since he got healed, or is it still moving through him? It's slowed, but it's still there. Um. 
the Gayo Glanton day. Inspect the house, see if there's anything we can use, see if there's anything that we can fortify. Sonaris, I would like you here with me. Yeah. Please. So, the Gayo Day Glanton. Mm -hmm. Did did you get what I asked? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. yep. On it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and follow what they do. Um, yep. Day, the Gayo, uh, Glanton, as you guys make your way out of the bedroom, this is still very much a broken home um, with not a lot of, you know, nothing to really stop anything from coming in. You also haven't assessed the full area as of yet. Mm. What do you guys uh, decide to do? Sorry, I'm eating something. Um, I guess roll for perception and look around. Um, make it uh, make it investigation. You're actively investigating <laughs> the area. Can what I help? Other uh, rooms uh, are there. Um, it doesn't take a genius to find uh, that. Yeah, there's the kitchenette. The bedroom that you saw. Um, Is this a one floor? One floor, no basement, no okay. attic. Um, there seems to be a door for another room, um, and another door that's already open that appears to be, you know, the Lou room. Can I check the other door that isn't the Lou? Uh, it is a closed door. I want to go over and. Tr gently try to uh, open it and see what's inside. Okay, the gay what was your roll? Um, I got a 19 with my modifier. You got a 19? Okay. So, investigating the, the place, you find those two other rooms. Uh, you can see different footprints that are around the area. Obviously, there's dust and dirt that sort of line the floors. But there definitely as well looks like that the war has passed through this house. Um, combat ensued. You can see that there are some vines, some natural-esque things that appear to be, you know, groven in nature. Um, you can see that there is, you know, dried human blood that are on the f that is on the floor. Um, and with the help of Glanton, you are able to venture into that second room of which you see the dismembered body of a woman. Oh, wonderful. Oh, shit. Lovely. I open the door slightly. Okay. Like, I, I just do, I just do, it's like, oh dear. That's a dead person. Uh, is there anything about like is there anything else aside from the woman's body in this room uh, next, or is this like a closet or something like that this is what appears to be a child's room you can see that there are various oh. blocks in here uh, you can see that there are different drawings on the walls you can see play swords um this is a fully grown woman. Um, her innards and gout are sprawled across the rug. And uh, you can as well see that there is a dagger in her hand with groven bits um, around the uh, the other side of the the other side of the room. He died fighting then. There are no, there's no living thing in this room, like no grove waiting to jump out. There is nothing alive in here. Okay. I want to go over to the woman and I want to uh, further inspect that dagger. Okay. It is a basic dagger, surprisingly sharp considering the uh, the unremarkable make and model of it. Uh, you can see that the blood that is on it is 
dark green and blackish. Similar MO to Grove and Gout. Okay. I look at the dagger with all the little groven viscera on it. And I look back at uh, the gale and uh, Day if she's there. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. It appears she ha- she died fighting. Her blade has bits has bits of Rove insides on it. Oh my goodness. Uh, Awful. You can uh, you can as well see um, where there used to be a window. Now there is just a gaping hole um, around, you know, on the wall that leads to the exterior. We can see through that hole to the exterior, right? Is there anything on the outside that's that's of note? Um, you can see generally just the the outer exterior that you've already been seeing for like the past few hours. Okay. Okay. Poor girl. Indeed. Have you, have you two had any further luck? Not yet. I mean, I'm still looking around, but... After after looking around, that's, that's pretty much all you can see. This is, a, this is as basic as a home as you can get um, that has been, you know, been through it. Kind of not much here. Man has been here for a couple of days. He probably he will probably know that his wife may already be dead. So I don't think it's of use for tell, telling him. He may already know, and that's why he had the door closed. I suppose we should report back to back to Tibble and Sonaris. There yeah. is not. There is. There does not seem to be anything else here. A uh, change of perspective. Um, Tibble and Sonaris. As the trio exit the room, you are now left with Garretton. I... We need to get him... healed more so than he already is. Garretton, um, to be forthright with you, you are infected with a blight that I'm sure you've seen in Lago and around your home. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. If you will allow me, I'm going to try to pull it out of you. Not necessarily physically, but I'm going to try to remove. (laughs) You can try. Okay. The defeated man sort of exposes his body to you. Yep. Sit, if you'll sit and remain as calm as you can. I look at Sonaris. If anything starts to turn sour, I need you to knock the wand out of my hand or pull it out of my hand. 
And if for whatever reason something were to happen after that fact, we will deal with that when that when we cross that bridge. I drop. If I break it, I'm not buying. I suggest you don't. But we'll <laughs> work with what we have. I drop the wand into my hand. And as he's laying there, um, I will. Um, now just close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. And hopefully we will be able to alleviate this situation. I'm going to prick my finger. Put it to the wand. And then I'm going to, at his wound, holding it gently, take a little bit of my talent. Or I'll actually take out my scalpel. I'll take out my scalpel. Set. I will take the thinnest, sharpest knife I have. And I'm going to just nick a little bit into the wound to make it bleed. Not heavily, but God, just a little God. bit. Fuck! It's okay. Damn, dude! I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You know, get the wound, and I take a little bit of the blood, and I put it on the wand as well, and I'm going to put it to his shoulder, and I'm going to try to focus and see if I can literally use the power of the wand, like, diving in, like I did, and try to pull the, the actual infection out, or try to, like, take that essence away from the wound. Uh... Arcana. Advantage. Thank you. Uh, 21. 21. So, you're trying to make a connection here. The issue that you're running into is that Garretton's soul is, is still intact. Is still within the material. Yeah. So the connection to the astral is weak, almost non-existent, because Garretton is still alive and here. The only thing that you're getting is a faint, like the faint presence of Ayuna in the back. But I mean, that's at this point kind of normal when you're dealing with the grove and you're looking at it through this particular lens um as far uh, as far as that connection goes you have no way to tap into the astral plane through Garretton because he's still alive okay Seeing if we could just get, if I could just peek in there and be like, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Here. Um, thinking, thinking, ain't no clear, ain't no gotten a divine intervention. Can't just be like, hey, port me to the, <laughs> port me to the astral plane, succeed. <laughs> um. I'm thinking, um, I can't do that, I can't do that. This man's really thinking on how to, how to do this shit. Because it's yeah. going to be the thing that might actually help us later down the fucking road. Mm. I have to actually think does, of Does, uh, does Tybalt look visually perplexed in, in I am just like, I am he is. Like, like, so he, like, are, are you, are you like, pant, uh, walking around just like fucking like. I'm like pacing out. back and forth, getting frustrated. Like in my head, I'm just like, I would just hold my sword in front of me, just like tip down to the ground. And while I, you know, like, while that's ha while that's happening, Garretton sort of goes toward, or not goes towards, but looks towards Sonaris. Hey, um, my my wife is um she she's uh, she's in the other room. I, I, uh, if you could tell them, like, to, don't touch it, don't, 
I'm, I'm sorry. It's, um, they came here a, a few days ago. I, I did what I could. I, um, I, d there was a lot of them. I, I, there was a lot of them. Just like in the, in the next town over. Mm. Uh, there are at I, night, I, I, at, at I night put there. my hand on his shoulder and I'm like it's a lot we'll do what we can what what are they what are they They're... what's what's happening to me hopefully not what happened to them as as you finish that, I have an idea. I, I pop. I stop. I look at Sonaris. And DM, I'm gonna ask. And if this doesn't work, well, I'll he, roll another. Character. As soon as he says, "Hey, DM," I Anime know. Dead. I know it's gonna be some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> animate dead on the living. And if it being. doesn't work, no. And animate dead on no, the no, living no. creature. No. <laughs> He's, he's specifically targeting the infection. Let me run. Let me run this. Let me run this through you, through through my thought process. Mm -hmm. I can't tap into the astral plane if it's a living individual, but there isn't anything to say that me, myself, and I can't go in if I'm close to death. If I ask Sonaris to stab me and injure me, or I somehow injure myself to get. I don't have a spell, I don't have a potion that can be like, I go into a stasis mode, like I stop my heart, or I slow my heart enough, like I, you know what you could do, like you can induce that. If I ask him to, to not fatally, but mortally wound, like kind of wound me, or I Are wound myself, could I go you? into, could I somehow I don't know. Bring in? Could you, I do you it? Yeah. Would I be able to try to do that? I am and try going to, get to the astral plane my I, own fucking way. I am going to say no, and the only reason no is because if you are the again, the only way that you can access your own astral plane is if you are dead or at the very least unconscious. So by that fact you wouldn't be able to control what you do. This is, this is a movie. I know, I, this is, this, I, I've seen this movie. I... Um, and again, and again, you, you, the, the astral plane works in different, different ways. And depending on where you point the wand and in which sort of area of the astral plane you go to it's everybody's each deep individual version of it so when you go into an astral plane and you cast it on yourself you're not going to find garrett in there i have to go into his like own personal space okay I what if i That's flip it reverse it without heavily hurting him i make him go unconscious and i tap in and try to go in and break Iuna's hold. I'm thinking big thinking. Are you are you saying things out loud to me? Yes, I'm saying these full. I pull you like, off. I pull you off to the side. Just one sec. And I in hushed voice. What? You implying that you either want me to kill you? Not kill. Or that's that's the wrong word. But X day the X day. Well, I look kind of like back at Garrett. I look at you. I'm not that, saying we killed the man. That's fucked. Listen, I didn't say it was going to be a perfect plan. I also didn't say it was not going to be a little messy. I... I'm trying so here, okay? Unless you want to do it like a snake bite and suck it out of the fucking wound. I don't know what you want. Mm -hmm. I'm trying here. Or tell we told him that he would be safe and fine. And now we're you're implying that we should bring him Not to the kill. brink of death and then bring him back. That's the plan now, isn't it? That's the whole fucking thing we're trying to do here. 
fucking face palm so hard. I, I'm, uh, I'm Ax, Alex is beating his head against a wall. Um, Pitbull is beating his head against the wall. <laughs> a wall. No, um, I. That's the only way. That's the only thought process I can do. I don't have. I, I don't have anything that can be like. I that can mimic that. I don't have any way to do that. And I'm, is okay. I uh, yeah. It's literally. I'm. I'm going to go up to Garrison. I'm going to go up to Garrison, and I'm going to be like. I'm going to ask. One question, sir. And oh, yeah. when I ask this. Do not be alarmed. Hopefully. I whisper in my breath, hopefully. Um, the only process that I know I could possibly do to get this infection out would be for you to be unconscious. Uh, uh, no. No, no. I... I L listen, man, I, you, you, this has been the best thing that has happened to me in the past few days. I've had it rough. I don't know who the fuck you are. I, I, n I'm sorry. No, no. This could be the only way you don't turn into one of those outside. It's either... So what? So I'm turning into... Wait, what? Way to break it to him slowly, Sonaris. Sorry. I thought when we kind of had a small conversation off to the side, I kind of implied it, but I guess he didn't pick up. Yeah. Good. I'm turning into... Okay, okay. I... No. Uh... Stop, Sonaris. Okay, that is hence why... Yes, okay, yes. Enough of enough of the enough mincing words. You are infected with the Grove virus. You are infected with whatever those thing whatever those creatures are out there. I need you unconscious so that I may delve inside and be able to extract it. That is the only way, or you will turn. And I don't want that, you don't want that, we don't want that here. If you gave me your trust, I will do the utmost to my ability to make sure you come back healthy, as healthy as you can be. You, uh, you are asking this man to fully commit to potentially dying in order to save his life. Persuasion. Disadvantage. You're asking a lot here. Can I assist him? Assist now. It's a flat roll. Now it's a flat roll. Good, I'll take it. Take what I can get. Okay, come on. Come on, Vax. Come on, my Vax die. I need you to do something for me. I need you to do something for me. No whammies. So a nat 20, but it's a 19. It's a 19. What's your modifier? I have a flat roll, dude. Okay. I'm bad at charisma. <laughs> He points to you. Man, to me? Ma yeah, to Tibble, yes. Okay. You're promising me. Man to man. You're gonna bring me back, right? I look at him. Cause if you and don't, I blink. Because if you don't... <laughs> I am going to haunt your ass for the rest of your days. You would be very surprised that I've heard that quite a lot. Rest assured, as I said, the utmost of my ability is being put into this. This is my work, this is my life, and my life is making sure your life continues on. You can uh, you can see that uh, Garretton sort of puts his hand in his pocket. So he 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 pulls out the he takes out this like little golden amulet, puts it around his neck. Yep. Uh, my uh, 
my mama gave this to to my boy um, I look at it and I look at him and hold on to it it'll make it easier for me what I need you to prepare mentally is when this happens I you will see me but I need you to fight I need you to have I need you to be strong his um his name's Devin and we're gonna bring him home to you and with my dagger I'm going to look at him I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder and I'm going to slowly st- I'm going to stab and look at him in the eye and be like are you before you do that yeah uh, I, uh, I want to be sure uh, if there's anything here I'm gonna use divine sense okay to detect good and evil yeah no. uh, um, and I want to know there's a lot if, of fucking evil outside within, man. within 60 feet of me I can uh, I know I can know the location of any celestial fiend or undead um is there any presence like that here uh this entire area is blanketed in with 16 ce- in in celestial evil ayuna okay does the man in front of me have undead is he there, undead there there, there, there is a oh, celestial... is there any of any of that essence direct, there, there, directly there, on him there is a evil celestial essence uh specifically on garretton so yes <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like he's infected, but it's mute. Oh, we yeah, just kill this man. I, like, I turn to Snars. You're gonna see me go limp. Like I said before, keep me here. And I kind of give a slight smile. And then I look back at Garrison. And then I take my dagger out. Close your eyes. Focus on your son. And I stab with the dagger. I'm going for mass. I, I'm, I'm going to kill. I'm. I put my hand over his mouth. Uh, Gl- Glanton, Thageo, Day, you guys can hear Garretton screaming for his life inside of the room. What do you guys do? <laughs> oh, no. I can only imagine. I can oh, only no. imagine. What the fuck is going on in that other room? Okay, but I'm gonna go check it out. I go. I grab my when they walk in. You guys, <laughs> you guys go in and you immediately see Tibble. Stabbing Garretton, killing what him. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I need you to pull my the Block them. <laughs> Garretton, Garretton to falls to the bed, totally losing himself, unconscious. Everybody is screaming at the top of their lungs, questioning what is going on. Tibble, you take the blood, you swipe it along, and you I point. E- you point it into Garretton and you everybody sees the tear as it envelops you. Everybody goes Tibble Wait, goes you're actually li- gone? No no. Wait. Tibble Tibble goes limp as he is able to see into the inside of the astral plane. I'm gonna stand steady. I'm just my eyes I'm- Mouth of the game. My eyes are glowing. I put I put my arm in front of day and in front of day and Thageo. Like like just just trying to keep keep them be just watching. It's like let let him work. I gotta get this win, man. I gotta get this fucking W. Let him work. Let us see how this pans out. Okay. Tegeo and Tegeo are like, what the fuck? Oh <laughs> I can only imagine God. what it actually looks like. This may be the only way to save them. Let him do his thing. Okay. And then oh. I, I okay. let my body go and I'm standing limp with my eyes glowing and my mouth agape. You're able and to- And the wand pointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're able to, you know, you're, 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 
your soul was within the, the, the astral plane as it's been in, you know, before. Um, um while we're outside. <laughs> um, leave me. Let's staunch the bleeding from his wound and make him so that he's not gonna bleed out, but he's still unconscious. That could fuck up a lot of things, man. <laughs> I mean, if he, he, if he if dies... If you stabilize him, that's... It cuts me off, it cuts him off, and it's gonna be bad. Okay, okay. Mm. You guys are in an unknown right now. In the second that Tybalt is able to venture into Garretton's astral plane, you can see him fully cleaned his... With an arm? With, with his hand. Uh, his, his his dreads now were unkempt, are now, you know, finely woven. And and he can sort of look around. Uh, well, sort of surprisingly accurate with what, uh, with what everybody said this ship would look like. Welcome... I say. You would, and I. You could have warned me that that was gonna hurt, though. I figured it was implied. Um. Obviously, this is this is your arena. What 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 are we supposed to be looking for in here? I need you to stand next behind me. And I look up into the white ethereal abyss and i i'm literally gonna do a doctor strange dora mamu i come to bargain oh kind of shit God. and i look it up and i say i i command you to face me what what did you just say it's it's not as loud as it was before when when it comes to V, it was very much a uh, when no no no, because the last time that you, you it know, was the three. It was the three, fully consumed Grove. Her presence was a lot more present. Palpable. Yeah, it's like right there. Yeah. Um, whereas here, not so much. It's very soft, almost like a whisper. You again. Hmm. I sh I should say, Tybalt. I'm quite impressed. What are you doing? What are you planning here? I told you I'd come back. I need you. Actually, I. I demand you to let go of this man. Take your infection out of his body, out of his mind, and leave. Or I will make you leave. Okay. What other idle threats do you wish to spray my way no threats only promises you can see you may be, uh, sorry no no you go ahead you may be a god but you can still bleed you can tell that her connection here is shoddy at best, considering that 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 you caught it early on in the onset. Yeah. Um. You can see that there is like a very dim presence to her overhead, whereas before you were able to see, you know, her piercing green eyes looking down. Right mm -hmm. now they are faint. And as those eyes begin to coalesce into a shape into the woman that you know she 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 ended up looking like yeah 
it is smaller. Whereas before, she was roughly around like 12 foot tall. Here, she's roughly around the same size as you. I look at her form and I walk closer and I look at um so many names. Garretton. <laughs> Thank you. Garretton. And I look behind wait here and I walk closer to her. Well now that I have a better look at you. It's such a shame. You really are a handsome man. Any compliments she says, I hold my my normal stoic expression. She sort of <laughs> she, not she, a god. She she uh, she sort of <laughs> motions uh, onto you. Her hips swing a little bit. I'm not even moving. I'm holding. She immovable. places her hand and her arm on your shoulders. Both of them. Alex is creeped out. Till is not. Is what, What's going on in reality, by the way? I'm s just staying there. I just... Tibble, how, it, how, long, how, how long has passed? I'd say probably... Because if, if it's more than like it's pro- two minutes, like it, lo- it, it, if no, it's no, no, long no. enough where it, they, it's, it's uh, been, it's, they it's, might, it's, might bleed out. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's only been a few seconds. Okay. So, okay. okay. Yeah. Let's take a second to examine the situation a little further. You are here. I am here. And I'm sorry, honey. What's your name again? Uh, Sort of Garretton looks towards Tybalt. Shy, not answering. Oh, fine. I'll learn it soon enough. Well. You clearly have my attention. Leave. This body. Now. This house has been clean. When you look around the different cities, the different towns, and this this rock you call a country, what do you see? I see people in need. I see people in mourning because of you, because of what you've brought. And what you are trying are still bringing upon them. No more. No more strife. No more nature. I'm done with you. I'm done with this game you're attempting to play. This is one of many that you will not get your filthy hands on. And many more will be saved from your corruption. In your little, uh, in your little outburst there, you feel a sharp sting on your frontal lobe. And you can see Ayuna sort of twitching her head a little bit. That's not really what I was thinking. From what I recall, you haven't had the easiest time where you came from. Magos really is a nasty place. Your mother and father seemed to be 
well off as they could. However, with their business ventures and everything that they have to abide by, by the corporate world that you have all succumbed yourself to, industry, invention, that is the real corrupter. Even with how no. you, even with how you carry yourself, it's all a product over progress and invention, and the cost of those things is to lose everything that you are at your core, a person full of life. And this world has turned into one where it doesn't care about you life or death or anything at all really it only cares about sustaining itself progress is the weed that I am here to quell wouldn't it just be better if you didn't have to worry about the corrupt or the suffering of the actual constructs that you all assume is the correct way to live. Garrett in here. This man worked as an apprentice over at an apothecary in the eastern side of the pass. He was indebted to another craftsman that helped build his home. And everything that he owes is paid towards protection from his own master. This man's entire life has been turned into turmoil because of the society that bred him. This is no way to live. Wouldn't you agree? Mortals are infallible. Or, my bad, sorry. Mortals, Mortals are, are, are fallible. Yes, sorry. There Wait, you go. Change my word. Mortals are fallible. We're not perfect. We seek conflict. We seek power. Some of us do. Not everyone can be good. But there are there is good in people. Yes, corruption finds its way. It doesn't make you doing what you're doing any better. You're a different kind of corruption. You're taking free will away from others and making it work to what you want or those that you might serve. You don't care about destroying progress, about destroying industry. You care about what you can grab, about what you can twist, about what you can control. You're no better off than any of the higher-ups in any of the industries across Radon. You just happen to be able to be hidden very well. Better than all of them. You're no better than any mortal on this plane. You just have a bigger view. Progress goes on to help change flourish. It is what, it's our decisions that define us. It's our decisions that help that progress move in a positive, progressive way. While others may, yes, take that to mean Raising entire lands, controlling it with smoke and steam. But in the end, Radon 
like many other countries and nations before it, will rise above. And if it falls, it falls, but it does not need to fall to you. We all must learn from our mistakes, not be pushed further to the edge so that we can be made to make those mistakes. Free will is a precious thing, and you're taking it away in an instant. You are making people unhappy. You talk about him as if, yes, the world did him the worst it could ever do. You are doing it more so by sending the peop the things you control and murdering his family and taking his child. Progress isn't the innate evil here. It's you and your hunger for control. So why don't you stop while you're ahead and get the fuck out of this plane. And I say that with the, the most vitriol I can put. What do you intend to do? At this point, on the outside, around a minute has passed. How, uh, how is, how is he looking on the ground? I want to be like, kind of want to be there. And if anyone else wants to be there as well. Don, um, remind me, how, yeah, how long yeah. did he say to leave him be until he told you? I didn't to say. Yeah, he, he, I didn't say. He didn't say. Okay, I, I thought I, I, thought I wasn't listening. We, um, Garrett, I think it's about time we pull him out. Garretton is losing a lot yeah. of blood. Um, he is losing a lot of color. Okay. Like if if uh, a, if, I, if this is a if this if you just walked in, you could already assume that this thing is a corpse. Uh, I will. Uh, uh I'll, I'll pump a cure wounds on him. Okay. As in the interim, before that. <laughs> yeah. As as you're as you're pumping a cure wounds. Tibble, on your end, you can see that the astral plane is beginning to crack and fade away. I look at Garrison. <sighs> um, if you want this to work, I need you to use whatever willpower you can to deny her access. You motherfucker, you're going to roll the fate die, and I hate I, you. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the fate die is or where the tower is. So I'm going to roll the fate die just regularly. Actually, no. I'm going to use... Oh, boy. This. oh God. I'm going, I'm going to use this die. Um, this is the die that, that, uh, that Chloe got me. Um, you guys know the rules of what a fate die is. It's, a, it's an even 20 spread. No additions or, or anything like that unless it's an advantage, which this is not. This is just going to be a flat roll. 10 or lower. Uh, he doesn't resist. He doesn't resist. Um, before, before the health like healing happens, the astral plane is cut off. You're pushed back out, and you're sort of back to the square where you were before. Above that, Garretton does resist, and something unexpected could happen. Okay. Okay. Mm. Can I get a countdown? Oh, no, what's this going Three, to roll like that? Two, 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 one. one. Not 20. Oh, yeah. oh, not even oh, fucking oh. joking. I gotta show it. I gotta show you it. I'm not even oh fucking with you. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord Jesus. Let's go. 
Not Resist even, that bitch. Not even fucking around. There's your nat <laughs> 20. This is gonna be a long, long bit of work if I have to do this to every single fucking person, man. Yeah, it's almost not even worth it, right? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dude, you, you can awesome. you can You can see Tybalt behind you. You can see Garretton sort of going through the mental motions of it all. You can see visages of his wife and Devin walking around him laughing you can hear you can hear uh you can hear like um garretton's old mama sort of laughing and giving him shit uh over over some inconsequential thing that mm -hmm. happened you can hear the basic family motions of what it means to be alive in this day and age how it, important it feels to be in the moment and how important it is to be present in the moment not to be you know oppressed by the past or to glean from things that have happened before but living in the moment and being happy in the present regardless of what you've been given is something that Ayuna can't understand and through that you can see cracks within Ayuna herself as a light begins to <laughs> beam off of her as you can see that those cracks of her ghostly visage begin to expand and explode as <laughs> the entire astral plane closes Tybalt, you are back in the room. Gar <gasps> Garretton is on the bed. Motionless. I look I look around in my haze. I go up to Garrison and I put a hand on his face. Wake up. I pumped Garrison to him. A few seconds continue to pass. Please. Please. God, God, oh, God shit. Fuck. Medicine check, Tibble. Twenty-one. Or my bad. Sorry. Sorry, that, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. You can see that the veiny tendrils are receding. Color is coming back to Garretton's face as as a as Sonaris's heel is reviving him back to what it was before. And you can see on the wound that that corruption vanishes. You do. My eyes widen and I put my hands to my head. I did it. Holy shit. I'm like, like, uh, Tybalt shaking. I did it. Drop my hand from blocking uh, the others, and I and I go over to to to, to Tybalt. And I put I put my hand on his shoulder. Just like, are you oh are you all right, Tybalt? And then the first bit of emotion that is any like, I turn to Glanton, and I just give him a hug. I'm like, I actually hug him. I I hug him. Bear hug him. I'm like. We did it! I did it! Oh my... Okay. I, I, while, while, while he's hugging me, I, like, slightly, awkwardly, like, re re return to hug. I look back, I look back at the others, um, <laughs> like, upon hearing him say, upon hearing him say I did it, like, I look, I look at, uh, 
I look at Garretton seeing he's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I look back at the others, like, sort of, like, affirming. It's like, like, not, like, not a little bit. It's like, he did it. Son of a bitch, he did. I, I immediately break away from the hug. And I, I pull open my book and I just start jotting down notes vigorously. I start just being like expounding upon what I've done and just being like this, 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 and start right. Like, and I, and I just put, I, I literally am just scribbling in my notebook and I close it. I go up to Garretton and I'm like, well, or I'm, I guess I'm there. Like, I think it's good, uh, uh, safe to say that you're probably not going to turn into one of those things. Yeah. 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 No shit. Hey. Hey, Dragonborn. What? What's? What's your name? Can... Tybalt. Need to tell him his name. Dragonborn. Tybalt, I I owe you my life. You owe me nothing. You did most of the work. You fought against her. Um, shit, um, what now? Well, that is a great question. We did make a promise to him that you deceived. I want to keep well on that promise. Now that you know that he's going to be alive. Yes. I told you we were going to get your son, Devin, back. Then we will definitely, definitely try. And I stand there, still ecstatic, my notebook in hand. I feasibly don't see us doing this alone, though. Six of us can't handle a hundred. And unfortunately, two of our companions have gone to scout, so hopefully they're okay. But... I can see if I can get someone to come assist us. And at that moment, Danny, I would like to cast Sending. Okay. And I would specifically like to cast Sending to... Before I left, who was still at Belfort? The council-wise. Uh... I don't have their names. You're good. Uh, they might be in my notes somewhere. You miss like, well, I'll try to figure that out. Yeah, you're good, man. So you remember that the only people that were still at the uh, that were still part of the uh, the Belfort Council was Iota, the uh, the the halfling chieftain of sorcerers, um, and uh, Otiskun, the dragonborn master of warlocks. So it's only those two people running the place. Uh, from what I'll you, send it. Yeah, from, to the halfling. Yeah, yeah. From from what you remember. Um, mm-hmm. Mulio left on an uh, on an excursion to to Belfort, followed, you know, behind the pillars, hasn't returned. I will talk to, or I will do sending to. Uh, you said Ito. 
um, the 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 half the halfling, Yoda. Yoda, sorry. Uh, to Yoda, I will say, and it's twenty five words or less. Tibble. Tybalt here could use assistance. Any will be fine. We are in Lago. Hundred one hundred Grove. Send as many people as possible. Please reply. 24. Send. You you were asking to send one person or? Send many people, as, as many people as possible. To Lago. To Lago. I can't be the only one that teleports, yeah. so they're... Yeah, yeah, like, come on. Returns back. Explain... Situation... Further... Reply... Now. Okay. I'll use another spell slot to cast Sending. Helping Long B trade route overrun with Grove only six here or, sorry. only six of, of us here send all send all back up you can muster that's 25 well this would be f I'd hit 20 oh my bad this would be, well, well, well you're, you're, you're at 20 now back up are two different words back up's one word is I thought it was back yes. hyphen up. It's like hy it's like it's hyphenated, but it's just, hyphenated you know, one word. Technically, it's, it's technically it's one, one word. word. I think. Oh, okay. Um, aha! I got you on technicality. Anyway, <laughs> back up. Um, depends on how it's used. Otherwise, all will be lost. Send or reply is the last word. Send. Active war, and you wish to send all able spell casters not smart, Professor. I'm thinking. will send team nearby to evaluate stand by I hear the message All times to be stubborn. Why now? I look at everyone. Well, I was able to contact Belfort, and we have a team heading our way. Hopefully, that should alleviate some of the stress on all of us when it comes to handling the town. 
That's all I say. Any help would be useful. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, what's the next move? I was told to stand by, so I'm not sure how long it will take. I can always ask, but I am running thin. I still have plenty I can do within my power right now, but if I go any further and I continue trying to talk, play a game of telephone, I will run myself thin on what I can cast. I'd like you guys yeah. to, I would like you guys to account, uh, or, or do a perception check for me. All of us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 19. Let's go. Let's see. First Natural time. 20. Give me, give me one sec. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a dirty 20. Hell yeah. I'm okay with that. I got 11. <laughs> that went too good tonight. <laughs> Tegay was just like, huh? <laughs> yeah. What is that? There's some. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, should you know what game I want the uh remastered? Mm-hmm. Like get a like a like a, I don't know, like even just a port. Mm-hmm. Sonic Riders. Bro. For real. I would kill for Sonic Riders to come back. Alright. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Uh oh, what were the uh what were the perceptions? Nineteen. Seventeen. Eleven. Thirty twenty. Natural twenty. Sonaris, you are able to hear a few outside the house. Think your friends are here? Oh, it's quicker than I expected them to be. And I make my way out of the room and I immediately saw it. Okay, Does, uh, does anybody else follow? I will follow. I want to see all these bitches. Yeah, <laughs> who the uh, fuck they sent? What's his face is good now, so I'm going. Um, as soon as you make your way, uh, as soon as you guys make your way outside, um, Tybalt, you're the first to go out. Yes. You can hear uh, a little bit of a commotion uh, from the from the team that uh, that Iota sent. Damn, you could have you could have been able to choose a better a better spot to 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 lay ourselves down into. I'm sorry, oh. I'm sorry, man. It's just no. whenever it no. comes down to it. As you make it out, you see seven light blue kobolds bickering oh my God, at each the other. Fucking Tonys, dude. Tonys. Tonys? I look at all of them. Fuck you. Out of all of the places that you could have let us in here, you got us here a mile away from the place that I we're whistle. supposed to be. They could probably be dead already. Them up. I whistle and shut them up. Hey, Tibble! Hey! I look at them. I'm shut up, you fools! <laughs> um, army. Shut up. They sort of look on over to the side. Hey, hey, Tony, hey, check it out. It, it, it's the Gayo. The guy. Tony? The Gayo. Tony. It's the, I, I, I know. Well, I, I know. I know. I know. I put my hands to the bridge of my note now, and I'm just. All of, all of the Tonys all run on over to the Gayo, and they hug the shit out of her. Oh, oh, the Gayo. People in the it, audience that oh, have no idea what the hell It's been so long. Oh, god damn, about. dude. Oh. I, 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 the Tonys, I, the Tonys I, are a I, bunch of kobolds that are all named Tony, that have all, all have different spellings, that are all students yeah. or something from Belfort, that, yeah. that I, one, one, of our, of one of our little groups met 
uh, in very early when we like first started this campaign. Oh, back when Genevieve was alive. I baked very hard, yeah. and I'm like, um, "This is the backup you got us." I to didn't ask for this. Tony Seven, the one who studied. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Seven, the the one who studied necromancy uh, over at awesome. Noxum, walks over to uh, walks over to uh, to Tybalt. While all of them are speaking in a thick like Brooklyn Brooklyn accent, Brooklyn accent Tony Seven walks up. Professor Tana, it's a pleasure to meet you once again. Six his hand out. He's Good the only one that doesn't have a Brooklyn. <laughs> I, so when I've had them in my class, I would probably only call them by number, because that would be the easiest mm -hmm. fucking way. Um, I call, uh, so I say seven. Uh, good to see you. Seven. What appears to be the problem? Yeah, yeah, what, what's going on? Six steps forward. <sighs> I, I, I take a deep breath and compose myself. We are dealing with easily a horde of a hundred grove in Lago that we need to eradicate. And to by eradicate, yeah. I mean do not destroy, kill. I figured out a way to break the hold that has befallen them. Uh, seven walks up. That means that you were you were successful. You were able to find a way to separate this Ayuna corruption from the bodies. Correct. Two walks forward. You know, Tony mentioned it a little bit earlier, but wouldn't that mean that you would actually have to, you know, do whatever you have to do, you know, on a on a larger scale? With a hundred of these fuckers, I mean, I... Yes, but also, um, uh, as such, the way this whole conflict has been going, I'm only able to probably get those that are not as far gone or corrupted. So the body is still relatively intact with, I guess, the modifications that are made. And as long as the corpse is not mangled... Well, there's no heavy, heavy internal damage uh, from the corruption. We should be okay. Five steps forward. You see? You see that town right there? You really think that there's going to be somebody out there who is going to be fine? That they're only partially dying? I look at five. If you paid attention in my class more, you would know how persistent I am. Damn. <sighs> what do you want us to do? Well, there is now counting 13 with the two missing that I hope to come back soon. 15 of us. It's not as much as a hundred, obviously, but it's better than us just going in to die. I suggest we infiltrate quietly. If we can have... If we can somehow make our way into one of the buildings in there, clear it out if it has anybody in it, which I imagine it does, and we just move from building to building quietly and as quickly as we can take out the ones that we cannot help incapacitate the ones that we may be able to help and then I get to try more work to on be, a bigger scale to be fair professor um, that is an entire town the closer we're getting into their territory, the more of them there are going to be. What you're asking might not even be possible. If we go in there expecting us to be able to actually clear the town as close to Bester as it is, 
I don't think you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Seven walks forward. I, I can't help but agree with him, Professor. I understand clearing out a few buildings here or there, sure, but the entire town is just simply not going to be exterminated. More are probably going to be coming. And again, if Bester is the center of it, then only more are going to be behind them. Oh. I can understand the hesitancy. I look at Tegeo and mm -hmm. Day. Do you have anyone that could easily help us? And I look at Glanton and Sonaris. The same goes for both of you. On your travels, you might have met people that might be inclined to help us in this situation. If you can think of anyone and, are, and if you're able to communicate with them, now would be the time. We're in a war, so we have to prep like it is war. And we need numbers. I got what I could. But we need more. As much as you can muster. And we push forward to Lago. To Green's Rest. If we can push them back far enough. Keep them away as much as we can. With minimal casualty. From ourselves and those that we may be able to help. I believe that might be the only solution we have. Otherwise, we tuck our tails and we go. But right. I made the travel here with you all. I want to see it through. I would like to hear, you know, from, from everybody, how everybody is uh, feeling with this, um, with with these developments. Um, we'll start with, uh, we'll start with Glanton. Well, I'm thinking that slightly, like, based on, like, our actual, like, quest log and stuff like that, like, Lago definitely needs to be dealt with, or else Long B will suffer more Grove attacks. That's fine. Um, that also goes for the nearby towns of Green of green rest and silent bell and possibly bester but but toting an entire army with us for that that's it that seems like a lot i mean i can i could probably try and help with getting numbers if you want numbers uh danny how many people all have a communicator because i still have that at, at this point everybody does Everybody has a communicator? I have a communicator? Uh, yeah, Lin Linfair... Do Lin I have a cell phone now? Lin Linfair, gave, uh, Linfair gave out communicators oh, before the, the before right. raid. What? Do any of our uh, other... I must have missed that. <laughs> do any of our other past allies uh, ha have, it, have uh, any sort of way to communicate with them? I know that the... The Crusaders had uh, Rogar and Shine in Protozone. I know that. Uh, if I have to double down on fucking Roman, I'll do it. <laughs> I know. I know that the Pillars had uh, the Al the Algorafts in Klyka. We have all of Klyka. You ha the yeah uh, the Pillars have all of Klyka. Yep. Uh, yep. The, the champions have all of Long B. We have Madol. Madol. We have the Madol territory. All right, the Madol territory. The Wildwood. But, if, but I, if I if I if I remember correctly, no, you don't. That's the Zusa territory that we don't have. No, obviously the Zusa you don't have. You don't have the Madol either. How? Again, Tibble, as somebody who wasn't there. I know. I know. Alex is asking you this. Alex is asking. Uh, they said that they side with nature. Fair enough. We don't have the Order of the Oak, because that's all gone. Yeah, the Order of the Oak is gone. Yeah. Uh, 
you have Belfort, and they sent what they could. Yeah, they sent yeah. what they could. Looks at Danny and... I understand. Remember, remember, Iota said that sending everything they have was not smart. So they're sending in just a team to see what's actually going on. Obviously, that's not everybody, but yeah. We, and we didn't really uh, go further. You have the Liars and, Club. You guys have the Liars have, Club as well. We that's have the numbers, Liars Club, but we, but we don't know if they survived the uh, the Esnos attack on Nevisera. True. We oh, have yeah. some of the people surviving from Nevisera that would be up to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah we oh, yeah, yeah we have we have some people in Credo. We have, like, we've met and fought, like, the, the Crusaders met and fought with, fought with uh, Buster Mike, but we don't know. Dude, get not, Buster Mike in this shit? We're not sure if he has a communicator. Buster and Mike plus, was single-handedly single saved the fucking world. Plus, he, plus Buster is a one-man army against the Plus, Buster is a one-man army against a white hand in the past, so to take him away, that would cause problems. He said that he was also part of the Vanguard. And the, and the vanguard is vanguard right yeah really danny what that's something the that's vanguard been, that's something that's been established for almost a year i know oh god um who else who else do we got in our back pocket i, I will say uh, magos I, we don't have anybody magos I, 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 I will say as far as you know dm intervention here um even if you were to muster people right now to, to, to make to make an army, they won't be here in enough time in order for them to show up to actually matter. So you are you are working with the tools that you have at your disposal right now. Okay. All right. Then well, in I mean, th then in that case, uh, then we run. Then there's no fucking way we're going into that town. We're all just gonna go and die. Yeah, either we come back but, to but it this, or... But this needs to be dealt with, though. I mean, yeah, it needs to be dealt with, but Dan, there's no leeway we have. It would take too long for people to get here, which, I mean, that logically does make sense, because it's not like everybody can teleport. Can tell what if exactly. we possibly, like... Also, I didn't think we were going to be orchestrating an army. If the Tonys have gleaned... I'm working it, off, kind of, like, running off what I can. If the Tonys have gleaned all the information that, that's like, hey, like, Lago has a problem, but like since they've been sent to gather information on what it what it is you're do you're doing and why they were sent here, they know that now, and they've seen True. the situ and they've seen the situation. You could send that. Here's what I'm thinking: you could send the Tonys back to Belfort to report their findings. We skip over Lago. We go to. The, ne the next the town that we go, go to the Greens Rest. The Greens Rest. Like, like mm -hmm. silent, silent Bell Greens. Or is it silent? Or is it Silent Bell? Let, let it, me, uh... it is Silent Bell. That's right. It's Silent yeah. Bell yeah. Greens Rest. Yeah, we we go we go to Silent Bell. We skip over Lago. We go to Silent Bell. Like we do what we got to do there. We go to Greens Rest. We do what we got to do there. We circle back during our time in Silent Bell and Greens Rest. We contact Linfear uh, with the communicator. And we contact uh, whoever else has got a communicator in Credo, and tell them it's like, "Hey, we need we need people's help in uh, kicking ass in Lago. The champ the champions can't can't do it all by their lonesome. More 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 than likely, the people of Long B will be behind us, and and they'll pro they'll hopefully do do what they can. I right. can't, I can't really say for them because that's for Danny to decide." But um, it's a good chance that we could rally some people from Longby and Credo to meet us on the other side of town, and we can like, on and on our way back, we can meet, we can uh, enclose the town on both sides, and then and then ru rush in and uh, get take care of business that way. That might be, yeah. I mean, that that yeah. sounds like a plan. Honestly, that's that's honestly probably the best thing we can do right now. Yeah. So <clears throat> we, I say we can at least take. I, I hate to leave Amir. Um, I mean, if we take him away, he's just he'll if he dies on the road or anything like that's just. Yeah. 
I say we take him with us. We take uh Which one I, of the which one of the Tonys uh like taking the Tonys with us? <laughs> I mean yeah. Fuck yes, well. dude. Which one of the Tonys knows uh uh didn't you say at one point that I can't remember? Uh, do each, all the Tonys each, uh, specialize in a certain magic? Each, they all specialize in each school. Yeah. Each Tony in a school of magic. Yeah, spe- they're all wizards, and the, each one specializes in one school of magic. Got you. Okay. Is there any particular one that specializes more in the healing side of things? Because I'm f- sure that uh, G- Giratun there's there, may there's, need it. there's really not a healing school for for wizardry. Dude, I don't know my I don't know my wizard school. No, sorry, no, you're you're, you're you're you good. can have access as a wizard to healing spells, but I'm, I'm pr- some healing, not like a lot. Let me yeah, yeah, say. one one not more than the other. I I'm got okay. I got confused on my schools with D and D classes, so that that's. That that's my new brain. No, you're good. So, um, what if I told you, looking at all the spell lists that we have available, I have no heals. There's no way I can ever learn heal. It is a lot of conjuration, of destruction. Sure. Uh, let me look more. I have stuff so- that can prevent, but I can't have stuff that can heal. So that's my two cents on it. You said you wanted to go around the yeah, go around the yeah, room as uh, it were. So that that's my that's my idea. That's my that's my two cents. The guy. I... Hey. Ooh. Uh, your general thoughts on the uh, on the situation, what you want to do, all that sort of stuff. I mean, we can definitely call in Kaika. Um. Oh. I mean, we also have, um, is, um, the Thieves Guild from Nevisera, was it Nevisera? They're displaced and they're with, they're in Credo, the ones that are there, like, uh, Survivors Whack. anyway. Yeah, Survivors Whack and Cor, uh, Cormac. Yeah, we've got them. I mean, aside from Belfort, I don't know, because, you know. Yeah. Everyone else is kind of gone. Because if you think about it, like who, like who from Long B and Credo would come? Like because if mm-hmm. it's if it's Credo mainly, then we have Alexia, who is uh, yeah. and her and her guard that was set over yeah. there. But she hates us right now. Yeah, she's kind of mad. Pisa say. Well, she could just suck it up. Um. I mean, yeah. 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 But I mean, you know, Ony and um, Kaika may take a bit because they wouldn't. Yeah, they're you either have to sail or walk. But I think they would. Kaika would still be, you know, in our favor for sure. Well, so, so if we go with, you would be the only Nate. one to rally them because they, they, you're the only one out of all of us that they actually know. Yeah. 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 If you and we have communicators, so the idea that like we could, so if we go with the plan to skip around Lago, go to Green's Rest, it would hopefully if we can just call upon those that would take a long time to get here. By the time we double back, they could be there. Yeah. That would be the. I think that would be the. Oh, sorry. Huh. That would be the ideal plan. Is call who we you, can. How long do you think it would take for us to go from here in Lago to Silent Bell to Green's Rest and then back? Appro- approximately. Mm. Like, like as far as travel time to just yeah, make as far it as there and time. turn around? Um, yeah, like going from here... Going, doing things in Sign of the Bell, go doing things in Greek's Rest, and then coming back to Lago. Af- I'd after say that's Lago. maybe three, four days. Okay. Two-ish, maybe? Like, like non-stop travel across all of those areas. And also considering how long it took you to get from Long B to Lago. Yeah, around three-ish. Right. Three-ish days, yeah. 
True, we do that... have a carriage. It's not like we're walking. It'd be like a week if we were walking. <clears throat> yeah. And that's mm -hmm. ex and that's excluding the possibility of going to Bester because that's where an artifact is. That that's but that's currently still up in the air. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Day, what are your thoughts? Well, I do agree with Clyde the thing. I really don't want to get into a war now, but it's okay. Or I suffered enough PTSD from previous wars. My character has. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. We're also know. still missing two, two people. Allies. Also missing two people, which we have to give them the run which, down after. Yeah. I'm starting to get a little concerned <laughs> that we have not heard nor seen them in what has been like at least an hour. Or a couple. Two, three hours. Or a like couple, a couple of hours. How, how much time has passed? Um, since With everything. Since, you've since seen, they left. Since you've left, it's maybe been two hours. So since they left, it's been two hours. Yeah. No communication. Uh oh. Uh oh. They in trouble. Um. You said that we all have communicators. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us have turned them on or set a frequency. The frequencies were already set. Yeah, frequencies or no. were already set. The, the, the only thing that you would have to set are communicators, you know, to other people. Mm. I don't know their phone number. Well, well, then, then <laughs> her, oh, then no. her punched in, punched in his, uh, punched in his frequency. I, I, I remember, I have been saying whose frequencies you have. So if you just didn't get people's, or uh, if they didn't give them to you, you have no way to contact them. Which frequencies do we have? I forgot to write that down. I have Alexius, or used to have Alexius, I think. We still have Alexia's if she is, has hers. No. The Gao, I mean, Pickle like, his role, as long as you roll, like, a history a check. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to sleep several okay. times, but I don't know these people, so I can't send. You know Sage. I know Sage, yeah, but what am I gonna get? Buck off? We're looking around? I mean, we have... Um, uh, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I'm just fucking with you. Um, but in terms of, like, Oh, oh. We heard the like sage ghost. That's not you know outside game. Yeah, catch him up. But in terms of like other NPCs, like bigger groups, Tegeo, I guess if she has to roll a history check, or if Danny's just gonna be kind enough to be like, yeah, you know it, depending on what he says, yeah. then Tegeo can let Plika know. You would talk to um, look at my notes, uh, Miss Algarath who is now the leader or like pseudo leader mm -hmm. um and have to get contact with her um which Takeo hopefully would be able to mm -hmm. um we don't have Madol we don't I already had my I mean I can tell the Tonys hey can a couple y'all or like a chunk of y'all go back and convince and then Danny does what he wants to do with that hopefully not shoot us in the leg um and then for the others that have contact, so Sonaris and Sage and Glanton. Again, same deal as Tegeo. Either you history roll it, or Danny gives it to you out of kindness, and you Just call it. who you can. And and for 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 context. Everybody has sort of gone inside the house and are just deliberating plans. Um, yeah, everybody's sort of just, like just made their way inside the home. It's generally safe right now. Um, the Tonys are sort of manning the perimeter outside. Mm. Is Giratun in all this? He's still in his room. He's still in his room? Yeah. yeah he he didn't come down with us? He hasn't. No, he hasn't left. He just stayed in his room. Hmm. 
but those are the options we have. I'm good with the backtrack move um, of heading Silent Bell Green, just double back, call who we can now, say, hey, we have about a couple days time and we're going to uh, give or take or at least give them a week, it gives them enough ample enough time to get here. We go to Silent Bell, see what we can do. Hopefully it's not a similar situation. Or if it is, it's a more manageable situation that we can just go in and do what we can. Green's rest, same deal. Then double back. Hopefully, those that can that show up from the various and the various parts of Radon that we've helped and that are willing to come here will come in enough time and be able to show up for like essentially the battle. It's essentially a big battle, and it's gonna be on a wide wide scale. Is that, we're getting into the climax. I expect these things to be a big thing, hopefully. We are getting to the climax, but we also have to think about how much, how many Grove are in both Silent Bell and Green's Rest and, and whether or not they are manage, manageable compared to Lago. If you remember, uh, Green's Rest and Silent Bell are on the outskirts of Grove territory. Lago is... So not, so not as a uh, higher density. Lago as... is pretty deep in you can generally just infer that from the distance all of these places are from Bester. And Bester's... Bester's ground zero. That place is... Bester is ground zero. If you, if you, want, if you want to go into Bester, that, that army would prove useful. It's still like it would prove useful it would prove for Lago as well. It, it would prove useful anyway. So, if everyone's okay with it, and we can all come to the agreement of the Nate idea of leave and go to Silent Bell and assess what we can do there, and then move on from there to Green Dressed and then double back, I'm good with that. But I also suggest we call who we can if we want to do those roles now, or if we would like to wait and just because it is 10 o'clock, and I, I think we were going to try to do uh, end on an earlier note or earlier time, then we can say, okay, Sage and ghost come back and then we give them the rundown then we make those calls and this and the definite decision of oh, okay we're gonna leave because I'd, I'd like to have them here to have that say yeah. um um cool so. with, I, to uh just to know whose frequencies you have let's go ahead and everybody each individually think of who you think you know is aligned with you guys as of so far and see if you know their frequency. Uh, I, mean, I don't. We I didn't get any. Stuff. We had, we we never asked for anyone's stuff. We didn't have communicators very much. Um, oh my god, I think it was Alexia, but like I said, we I have know. Alexia, and then we have we had we had the pillars, I guess, kinda. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're here. So, 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 but, everyone, so but everyone's together, so that doesn't matter. Tybalt. We, um, as far as we know, Rogar didn't have one. Neither Shine did didn't have one. From what, from what um, I recall. We never really got into communication directly with uh, Corone himself. I, and, um, and, and even so, uh, uh, directly calling Corone would be a bit of a stretch. Yeah. Same with Zazie. Especially, especially since none of us in the group ever, like, Fully interactive, uh, yeah. interacted with him. I think, I think what Danny wants, and then he'll just go based on what you roll. Is you all reach? I know what I have. All because my character's new. All I have is Belfort. Mm -hmm. That's innate to my character. I have that, and it, Tony's are proof of that. I think what he's wanting, and I could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong, Danny. Everyone makes history checks. Oh, okay. or if you have, and just you roll. If it's good enough, you, Danny, might give you what you want, what he can. So it, essentially, what it is is if you are unsure if you know their frequency or not, you can roll to see if you remember if you got it or not. Um, or I can just just straight up tell you which ones you were given. The only ones that I know that we that are fairly concrete are the pillars connection to Klyka, 
and the and the champion's connection to Longby and Credo. That those are the ones that I, that I that I know of. You tell us what you want us to do. With all the people that we've mentioned that we don't think we have numbers from. You want us to roll? General history across the board, everybody. Including myself. Um including Tipple. Okay. Yeah, because I I might surprise myself and pull something out. Ooh, I got a 17. 18 with my modifier. 28, uh, uh, sorry, 27. 17. Tibble knows everything. 14. I just have a really big history modifier. I do too, but I rolled low, so. Did uh did did everyone say theirs? Okay. Twenty seven. Seventeen. Seventeen yeah. as well. And Anna got eighteen. Eight Anna got eighteen. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um What did what did Sean get? Sean, what'd you get? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh generally that's 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 pretty good. Um Okay. I can pretty much just tell you uh whose you do have. And whose you don't have. Okay. Yeah. Generally, uh, the Gayo has Onisun's frequency, and Oni and Onisun is Onisun Algarath, the the daughter of Duke Zorvos Algarath, the current Duke of Klyka. So you have his daughter. Yeah. So you have Klyka. Uh Sonaris. You have Ruffruck, leader of the Liars Club. Liars Club. Why? He gave it Fantastic. to you. you do. He, he don't he, ask you do. He he, That's he, he gave he gave you contact info as you guys were leaving. The uh, the Radonian train. Uh, that's right. I do. That's right. I think you are right. I, I definitely. I actually you guys you guys exchanged uh, information there. Okay, lit. So Liars Club and Klyka. Um, if the Liars Club is still <laughs> let's alive. hope they're still uh, alive. Gl- Glanton. <laughs> well, technically everybody, but more so Glanton since he might have had it before. Um, you have Linfear, Pumia, pretty much all the stuff from uh, from Longby. So Longby, Credo. Right. Tybalt. You obviously have everybody in Belfort. Yep. As much as I can get. Yeah. 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 Um, Day, you kind of really don't know many people exactly. that, that, that have aligned I'll bring with us. up my friends' corpses from the veil. You don't have a yeah. lot. Of... Fuck yeah. Um, bring a zombie, a zombie army. I'd be all about that. Or a skeleton army. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> the Gayo, you would as well have the Thieves Guild from underneath Nevisera. So... Mm-hmm. You got That's Whack and Konak. Konak, um, mm-hmm. not Cormac. Okay. That is kind of it. You never yeah. got you never got the information from anybody in Corota Zone. Um, obviously, anybody in Nevisera is all but gone or already acclimated to Credo or Long B. Um, question. I'll have Shine show up out of fucking nose. Uh, you never Let's got any information go. from the 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 passes or anybody from like Smith's purifiers, um, and obviously there are people who you have never even met and all of the other places of Radon that you haven't even been to yet. 
We contact Smith's purifiers. Those guys that's, were assholes. That's a lot, though. A whole, like, depending on who actually, how many actually show up. I'm going to shoot in the ballpark around how many people we could actually get here. In between... 30 to 75 people. That's what we maybe got. You're... Yeah, but, now that's, I mean, I, that's being generous. That's being, being generous. generous. I'm being generous with Clicken. I'm being generous with Belfort. If they give a fuck. That's what I'm, I'm giving like, us. I'm sitting You're here. I'm like, generous, I'm... Monday. I would be surprised if we could get 10 extra people to show up. Yes. Listen, we gotta we gotta you, uh, kickstart this plan. Also, we gotta also, get funding. Also, if I also um, spicy never gave her communicator mm -hmm. like information, and she is like from the letter that you got, Clanton. She's starting her own thieves guild to like help with all of the stuff that's going on. Also, so you don't have any way to contact Spicy's thieves. But that is technically another ally in your court. Spicy tea. No, they're uh, called the spicy nuggets. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and there's people I could call at Belfort besides the council. When One it person in particular. When it comes to uh, when it comes to you know assessing Fuck. assessing all of the uh, the individuals that you have come across over the past few months of traveling and adventures, and recognizing the small amount of individuals that you can call to aid for the for the for the retaking of Radon when it comes to Lago and all that stuff it becomes very evident and clear that there is much, much more work to be done. As the one of the Tonys yells, Hey! Hey! Who are you? And that's where we'll end it today. Who are, who are you? you? Who, 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 who are, are you? you? Who are you? Bam. Bam, bro. Just sage. This shit goes. what? <laughs> Just watch it, sage and ghost. Just oh, oh it's he... them again. It's it's yeah, Danny, I made yeah. you. You, I made you want to like rip your fucking beard off. Like you had to. It's okay. You all, you you always make you always make me want to do that. Oh, thanks. Which is, which is a shame because what a magnificent beard it is. <laughs> thank you. Why oh, thank you. Uh, same, same, go, same to you. You Alex. get an inspiration point. Thanks. <laughs> I'll pump his ego more. <laughs> oh, if, you, if you kiss ass more, the DM might not.